What's up, baby? It's your boy Sky John here today. I hope you all can hear me loud and clear. Let's get started right away. Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you all why I don't go to parties, okay? Because when I go to a freaking party, I'm putting on my headphones to check everything right now, but I can leave you all this little video, you know what I mean? I always end up having to do, you know, incredible shit that I shouldn't have to do, all right? Let me, let, let me, let me, let me drop this little video on you all. Come on, come on, come on one second. Let me, let me find this, not that one, this one. Guys, this, you see, I always got to do some crazy shit. Guys, this is the Great Depression. We're feeding people in the bread line. Yeah. What is vodka? <laughs> okay, Hans, Hans, you got some. Okay. Oh, fuck. You want some too? Oh, you good? You good? Oh, he, oh, he, he good. He wants some. You know me. Everything I do is colorful. This is blue. I never drink. Okay. Drink. Okay. I'm good. I got some. Okay. Got okay. Some if we run out of blue, we gotta go to pink. We gotta pink. Yo, I never took a shot of anything blue before. What is this like? Oh, like a, has the alien come? Like, what's the problem? Oh. <laughs> That's blue you want blue, blue or blue. you want pink? This one comes out. Blue. Okay, she's doing blue as well. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, is this vodka? Yeah, yeah, vodka. Oh, this is really empty. Anyone want a little bit more? Like, anyone want a bigger shot? I got, a, I got the whole cup. I don't care. Any, anyone? 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 Oh, everybody got a oh. shot? Everybody got a shot? Yeah, we yeah. got it. Red line, red line. <laughs> Big vibes. Cancel. Yeah. Happy, birthday. happy birthday, Hansel. Yeah. Uh, you on the phone. He ain't even paying attention. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay? Happy yeah. birthday. Love y'all, homies. Love Thank you. you. Y'all stay gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tip. Hey, drive home safe. Fire you ain't gotta lie. It ain't mine. Yeah. And that's why I don't go to parties that often because I always gotta end up freaking working at your damn party to provide people with the booze, you know? Because dudes always expect me to, man, come on, Sky, just pour a little something, please, please. Like, my drink is gonna be delicious, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, that was just vodka, you know what I mean? I, I guess I could do that. If I show up at your party, I could do that. But I'm going to be honest with you. I don't particularly like making people drinks because it's just, I know it's going to sound weird, it's just a little too much pressure for me. I can't I can't freaking handle it. Okay, happy birthday, Tanisha Star. Happy birthday to you. Let me, let me, let me, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. You know what I mean? Let's put this boy up here. Okay, and that's going to be me. Sweet, 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 sweet. I even had time to line up my camera. This, this streaming thing, I, I still figuring shit out. Y'all know that, right? I still figuring shit out. You know, just trying to get everything perfected. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Now, where will we? What's, go what's going on with y'all? Enough about me and my problems, okay? Enough about me and my drama. What the hell's going on with y'all? Huh? What the hell's going on? Homeboy, <laughs> smash that like button. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna come over a little bit. All right. I'm gonna bring this bad boy over, like right there. Okay, that's good. So I kind of centered, you know. I kind of centered. So what, what's what's going on with you all, huh? Huh? Okay, guys. I got a question right off the bat for you all. Okay, right off the bat. All right. I expect you all to get this right, ladies and gentlemen. What is a sip? Okay, there, there it is. What is a sip? <laughs> sip. <laughs> Please tell me what is a sip. Olivia's going. How's it going tonight, homeboy, homegirls? Everything's good. Everything's good, Olivia Roberts. I'm drinking. Someone's. Oh, what are you drinking? What are you drinking there, homeboy? I'm drinking 99 butterscotch and Coke. You. What the fuck kind of mixture is that? Huh? That is an illegal butterscotch and Coke. I ain't never do that one, okay? I ain't gonna frown upon it, okay? You know what I mean? It's not illegal, actually. It's not illegal, but it's probably frowned on, okay? I've never I've never heard that one, butterscotch and coke. But see, that's the thing with, with doing bartending and being on the internet, right? Because we have the whole world at our fingertips. You discover new shit, okay? How many of y'all had butterscotch and coke, okay? Or how many of y'all put a little butterscotch on your chicken? You, you never know, you never know. Okay, it could be a thing. It could be a thing. Hi from Jamaica. What's up, Jamaica? They're my cousins. They're from down the road. I've never been to Jamaica. Okay, oh, listen to this. 
<laughs> Mike Freeman says a simp would be someone who drinks Bud Light or White Claw. Ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because, I mean, we have all different age categories in here who fall tipsy bartender, right? Um, simp is a very popular phrase right now. You hear it a lot, okay? <laughs> so I'm asking you what it means, and then I can tell you the meaning, okay? And I can surprise you with something about this word, simp. Someone who drinks Bud Light or White Claw is a simp. That is not correct, Mike Freeman. Okay, I was going to call him Morgan Freeman. Okay, that is incorrect, <laughs> Mike Freeman. <laughs> oh, you like Bud Light? He's a simp. <laughs> a silly or foolish person. Hmm. Still somewhat incorrect. A submissive man. That would still be somewhat incorrect. <laughs> I usually go for my versions of a mocktail. Mocktails are cool. I ain't knocking no mocktail, girl. You know your boy love a mocktail. I can be honest. I go out and I have mocktails a lot. And the mocktail culture is, dude, the world has changed. Like, everywhere you go now, people are, you know, people serving mocktails. It's, it's freaking crazy. Like, all the fancy restaurants out here in Los Angeles now have mocktails on the menu. You know, they're mocktailing it. It's, it's, and I'm talking like fancy fucking mocktails. Like, you know, shit's $20 and shit. It's a, and it's a freaking mocktail, okay? You know? Look at this. Look at this. What we got here? What we got here? All right? Super chat in the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the $10. I don't drink, but I thoroughly enjoy your drink making videos. I appreciate that shock in the chair. How do you all come up with your names, huh? How do you all come up with your names? Do you all just be like, you know what? I was watching Shark Week. I'm sitting in the chair. In a fucking shark in the chair. I'm shark in the chair, okay? <laughs> you know, like right now, I'm just looking at myself on the screen and I'm going, I'm glasses and headphones. I love it. I love it, shark in the chair. Thank you for that 10 bucks. You really want to help out? Become a member, okay, guys? Become a member. Support the show. Let me post that link for you all. Become a member on YouTube, okay? On YouTube. You go, well, Sky, why, why are you saying YouTube? Because Facebook don't have the setup for me to do it properly there, okay? So let's just do the damn thing on YouTube, even though I'm streaming to both platforms right now, in case you're curious where all these people are coming from, right? I'm streaming to both, both platforms, but the true platform that would ideally support the show better right now would be Facebook, even though we have 35 million people on, I mean, it would be YouTube, even though we have 35 million people on um on on our on facebook you know and only eight million on youtube i said only eight million like that's a small number right thank you shark in the chair shark in the chair just join the tipsy family okay join the tipsy army okay guys so your boy started streaming very recently those of you who've been with us you know we do have regulars in here now okay which is kind of crazy yesterday i did two and a half hours straight that was, I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but I, I'm getting my flow. Because when you do shit like this, right? Shark in a chair. i coming back to simp. Y'all better be, have, have when, you, when you do shit like this, right? You got to kind of figure out who you are, okay? All right? You got to kind of, guys, on, on, um, on, in the YouTube chat, I have it there for you to join the Tipsy Army. It's $2.99, okay? Small fee, small fee, okay? Small fee, all right? And you get exclusive videos. You get all my content before it posts. You get you get a lot of perks because I'm going to make it worth your while. And so all the tipsy girls of the past, like all those videos that I took, that I removed, you know what I mean? Like I'm I, I bringing them back, like, you know, getting them all digitally remastered. <laughs> Y'all know that's a bullshit phrase. Yes, we digitally remastered it. <laughs> okay, so that you could see it in high, in HD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, most of my shit back then was short on the calculator, so it looked like it was short on the fucking calculator. So be prepared for that, okay? What's wrong with Facebook? Why Facebook always, do? dude, Facebook is giving me some nightmares, you know. Whenever you go to Facebook, half the shit does not work for the influencer, dude. Facebook is a tough, 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 tough. I cannot say enough toughs to tell you how tough that side is, dude. Facebook ain't easy, okay? It is, it is, a, it is a tough one. Yeah, so back to simp. Back to simp. We're getting back to simp right now. 
But I'm glad I'm glad all y'all here, man. This is this is beautiful, guys. View posts. Nope. I can't view see I can't even see myself streaming on Facebook. Whatever. But I got YouTube here and that's all the map. Okay, so let's so let's let's roll now. I got everything up. Y'all can hear me clearly. Everybody here. Let's go. What is a sip, right? So this is the meaning of a sip. <laughs> okay. A simp is someone who, who does way too much for a person they like. For example, Brian Shu, the simp. Brian, Brian, Shu the simp. I bought her a car and a whole ass house and we're not even dating, okay? You get that a lot with dudes who spend tons and tons of money on OnlyFans, okay? They tend to fall into that category of, of a simp. <laughs> but that word simp, ladies and gentlemen, okay? That word simp has been around... For a very long time. Let me get this one off the screen. That word simp has been around. Okay, Gen Z, you all need to notice, did not invent the word simping. Ice T, that's the rapper. Okay, I don't even know he's a rapper because he's a police on one of them CIS shows or what, what, what are they? And NCI on one of them shows, okay? Cop he's, he plays a cop on some show. He, he's <laughs> him and Soldier Boy used to get into it back in the day. He actually had a song called Cop Killer. He been playing a cop for about 20 years now. But Ice-T and DJ Evil E from way back in the day, they were using this back in 87. So simp is not unique to Gen Z, all right, Gen Z? Just so you all know, all right? Just so you know. But yes, that that is that is what a, a, a simp is. So what's going on with y'all? How has last night been for you, okay? What happened last night? Law and, oh, someone said Law and Order SVU. Yeah. It's a a sim can be a man. A sim can either be a man who pursues a woman, has made it very clear that she's not interested, or a man who gets taken advantage of by a woman, by women, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a sim is usually a guy, okay? Like, I like a girl, and she didn't kick me in the friend zone. Sometimes not even in the friend zone. And then you know, tomorrow I show up with two dozen roses. And then she tells me that the car payment's late, and then I pay for the car, even though she don't really like me. And then I buy her house, and then, you know, she need a ride to the airport. I live in California. She live in New York, so I drive to New York to pick up from my house to take her two miles to the airport. That kind of shit. That, that, that's what simping is, okay? It's a noun, simp, okay? He's a simp, or he's simping, the verb form of that. <laughs> What is so funny is because <laughs> this is such a common word now. Everybody uses it, you know. I guarantee you, <laughs> anybody here, you can see Joe Biden make Joe Biden or Donald Trump making a speech. You know, yeah. Well, you know, he's uh, he's a simp. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go, Matt Riley. Matt Riley. <laughs> there you go, Matt Riley. Matt Riley has as as. <laughs> Simpat, okay, that's a, that's a female version. Simpat. <laughs> he, he's simping. Oh, look at this. You simp for years. I swear, I could have gone all MGT right until I realized I needed to work on myself first. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> You so sweet, bro. I'm lucky to have have in my house my my baby brother in the world. Oh, there's Amanda. Thank you, Amanda, for that support. <laughs> Say real talk. Yes, yes, I hear you. Barbados is in the house. Barbados is in the house. So guys, um they so that that was a that that, that video I showed y'all was from you know like a, a party a party last Guys, night you know. Great depression. We feeding people in the bread line. You know this uh let me let me kill the okay huh? let me kill the sound. Expect me dudes always expect me when I show up you know to to make a bunch of a booze you know this was pretty much a sausage fest though there was actually there was two girls there one was one of these dudes wife another one was someone's girlfriend you know I mean so. I do attend Sausage Fest as, you know, as, as well. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm agnostic. I, I don't say, you know, hey, y'all got girls, you know, before I come. No, no. You know, you got a bunch of sausage there. I still show up. Because if you're my boy, <laughs> you're my boy. Or you're my girl, you're my girl. You know what I mean? 
And these bottles were free because I did some work for the company, so I got a bunch of them. So if I show up at Charles, you know, and I'm like, hey, I'm bringing a gift. <laughs> it's going to be that. You know what I mean? It's 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 going to be that. That's that's kind of like what I do. Some would say the Lord's Day. Shock in the chair. <laughs> Shock in the chair. Say, Sims like playing for escorts, but there's no escort. Yes, that is true. Okay, some would just say the Lord's Day, right? I think they're referring to Sunday. All right. Okay. <laughs> Great segue, brethren. Great segue. Okay. So, Lil Nas. <laughs> Lil Nas. Okay. Just posted this on Twitter. Okay. Uh, this is like yesterday, last night, something like that. Okay. So he got a song. <laughs> okay, firstly, firstly, look at look at look at his, his name up top. You see the little cross, right? The little the little Jesus cross. Okay. All right. That's the first thing you can notice. And then he goes in, okay, and he, he he's singing this gospel song, I would say. <laughs> he's singing a gospel song, right? <laughs> and naturally. Everybody start freaking the hell up. By the way, you could ask me any question about drinks, whatever, you know what I mean? Because we ramble. We go everywhere, any direction, okay? Politics, you know, mathematics, whatever, okay? I don't pick a side in anything. I'm the bartender, okay? So I ain't picking sides in shit. So if you need me to back you up, make sure it's a neutral topic and I ain't got to pick. I'll see someone already go, he's sinning. Oh, Lord. Say so he's sinning, okay? Anyway, so Lil Nas said last night y'all y'all see everything i do is a gimmick when in reality i'm just an artist expressing myself in different ways whether i'm a cowboy gay satanic or now christian <laughs> y'all find a problem y'all don't police y'all don't police nobody else art like mine y'all hate me because i'm fun cute and petite <laughs> y'all hate me because i'm fun cute I'm petite. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, bro. Watch all your vids. Had some good nights with your drinks, you know. God bless me, Castle England. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, listen. So, that's Jamie Roberts malarkey. Oh, boy, that's, isn't that Biden's word, malarkey? Okay, Lil Nas is a habitual line stepper, as Charlie Murphy would put it. Okay, hold on, you gotta understand that. Now you gotta understand the business side of this. Because when I look at Lil Nas, I go, this dude is kind of a badass, <laughs> right? So, someone right here said, someone right here said he's making money, he's made enough money, he's changing teams. Okay, not really, okay? Lil Nas ain't on nobody team. All right, so... The thing is, okay, he understand the game, like, really, really well. Most black dudes, most blacks in America, especially in the Bahamas, too, do it. Like, you know, you grow up in the church. Don't, all these gangster motherfuckers that you all see who, like, hardcore rappers and shit, like, all them grow up, you know, sort of in the church. I ain't saying there's going every Sunday, but you grow up being, you know, like, Christian, okay? And... And also being homophobic and a lot, you know, I mean, that's beginning to change. I ain't painting all black people in that brush, but I'm just saying, it's the kind of stuff you're raised with. Like in the Bahamas, growing up, even now, dude, like, you know, you gotta love Jesus and not be gay. Even though you're banging chicks on the side, smoking, doing this, doing that, you know what I mean? That's just how, that's just how they roll, right? So Rilla Nas understand the culture, right? The black culture can be... Almost like <laughs> evangelicals. It's just a little different. And so what he's do, he's go like, okay, I can make this demonic song. Like first I can make a song where I kiss a dude in the shower and all that shit and people can flip the fuck out, right? And so he does it. And then every church, every pastor starts complaining about how he's doing this in his music, right? The song goes hot. All right. Then he comes back, okay? Dresses the devil, <laughs> okay? Doing some shit. And then every pastor, okay, loses their shit. Okay? Every pastor loses their shit. And then the song goes viral again. Okay. 
So now he's like, well, I, if I turn to the devil, they're already expecting that. So all the dude do now is flip the switch and turn to God, okay? <laughs> he turned to God. And then everybody loses their shit again. Oh, he don't really love God. He loved the devil. You see what I'm saying? Like, this dude just toying with people, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure half of Hollywood sitting back watching him work and going, dude, this dude's a fucking master at this. Now, I don't know. He already been devil. Now he's Christian. I don't know what he's going to do next, okay? <laughs> I think he's going to try to win the Christians over. And then flip the script, okay? And then flip the script. <laughs> Someone says, I want to see you, I want to see you, you use some kind of brandy in a drink. I've got a bottle of cherry brandy and I want, I want your honest opinion on any, okay, hold on. If it's cherry brandy now, if you're talking about, what's that, what's that brandy herring or whatever it is? Okay, that, that is not something that you just add to drinks. That's kind of like, that's usually, it's like, what's, what's the, what's the cherry herring? Yeah. Like, that's the kind of shit you put, like, in a Singapore sling and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> okay. Someone said, damn, come on. Love you, man. <laughs> With me, read. Read heart, man. We're the same. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amanda, what's up? Yeah, I can't wait for the bottle open in Montana either. Either, either Jeremy. Jeremy Whited. Okay. Cool name. Listen, anyway, so that's what Lil Nas does, right? And every time this dude does it, he wins so big because people flip the fuck out. They go, oh my God, I can't believe him. He's demonic. He's this. He's that, right? This dude just trying to cut checks. And the records, you know, the studios are like, dude, just keep going. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> and the pastors are going like, come on, dude. Because once we preach about you, you know, the service interested, the church pack, my podcast being shared everywhere. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Amen. Okay. So they, they all kind of like work together. Okay. Lil Nas and, and, and the Christians and the pastors and everybody else. EJ and Brandy. Okay, homeboy, that is some really cheap shit. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me not hate on EJ. I got EJ. I got EJ right here, right now. I shouldn't have said that. I take that back, okay? EJ, e, e and J Brandy is 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 legit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the fact I have it says it's kind of cheap, okay? Because I buy cheap shit, homeboy. That's what I do, okay? I ain't going with no super expensive. Oh, I do have a super expensive. Brandy, though. Y'all want to see it? Y'all want to see an expensive brandy? Okay, well, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can show y'all in a second. But I do have a... Just re remind me. Remind Sky, you, I'm reminding you to show us that super expensive brandy that you mentioned. What's up here, Philly? Drinking 1738. That is, a, that is also a brandy. That's a cognac. That's a little higher level than E&J. Enjoy, enjoy. Belize in the house. What's up, Belize? <laughs> Okay, how do you prefer Brandy Alexander? Never made one, but I plan to. You could do it as a shaken drink. You could also do it as a frozen drink. I've done tons of Brandy Alexanders. If you search, just go to you, just go to go to Google. If you're trying to find my videos, because Facebook videos are hard to find. I have a lot of shit on Facebook. Just Google Tipsy Bartender Brandy Alexander and see what comes up. That's how to search for drinks. Don't go to a platform and search there. Um, because it ain't gonna really work, you know? <clears throat> yeah, but I, I I got shit like that everywhere. Guys, 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 any any boys fans in the house? Any of the boys fans <laughs> in the house? <laughs> so the trailer just dropped for season four, I think this is, right? This would be season four. Trailer just dropped for season four. Any boys fans in the house? Are you related to Beverly in the Bahamas? I don't know who Beverly is. You got to give me like, you know the Bahamas, but you got to be like, my boy, you related to Beverly from Bantan? You know, you got, you got to ask it like that, okay? <laughs> if I could drink alcohol, I probably would have the same with some of your drinks. Why can't you drink alcohol? What do you mean you can't drink alcohol? You ever tried? If you believe in yourself, okay, believe and you can achieve, okay? So don't just hold that drink. Drink that drink. Amen. I'm here to motivate you all as well. Anyway, the boys season four just dropped. I realized, okay, now the boys... <clears throat> It's a TV show on Amazon Prime. It is a fucking hit show. Every dude loves this show, okay? And I realize some of y'all watching this be like, Sky, I don't want to see nothing but no superheroes, okay? I ain't into like, you know, you know, uh, Ant-Man and all this superhero shit. I, I'm not into that, okay? That, 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 that genre is overdone. Okay, see, but the boys got a unique concept. Because the boys 
show you superheroes as they really would be. <laughs> okay? There are no redeeming characters in this. There's no Superman, you know, with a moral compass. Everyone in the boys is fucked up. Every superhero in the boys <laughs> should be in jail. Okay? Because the boys is kind of like, if you were Superman, right? Like, let me ask you all this question right now, okay? In the comments, answer this question. If you were Superman or Superwoman, you know what I mean? Okay? Or super non-binary person, whatever you want, okay? <laughs> what would you do with that power? Be honest. In these comments, answer this question. What the hell would you do with that power? <laughs> What's good with Pineapple Amsterdam Vodka? Man, that one... <sighs> You could, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do that. You could blend that into a, a strawberry daiquiri. Use that as, use that as the, the base for base. Or you could mix up with pineapple juice or Sprite, something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> you could, you could do that kind of stuff with, with that. That's, that's, that's versatile in, in that sense. Or you could pour it on the rocks and, and, and sip it. I don't know though. Those kind of things aren't that good. There's Michael Watson. What's up? What's up, Tipsy? From Pennsylvania, you should open a bar here. One day, one day. What, dude, bars? Bar opening costs a ton of money, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, my question still stands. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Let me write this down for people who just who just joining us. <clears throat> okay. Where are all these messages coming from? I can't even find my mouse, okay? Because I got a bunch of different screens open. Okay. Here's the question. What would... What would you do if you had super man's powers? Okay. There we go. There we go. What would you do? There we go. There we go. What would you do if you had super man's powers? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the question of the day. What would you do if you had super man's powers? All right. Let's, let's make it a little smaller. There we go. So what would you do if you had Superman's powers? <laughs> oh, but, but 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 Michael, I gotta come back to your question about opening bars. Just because that's a that's a longer conversation. So I can get back to that. There are many super to save. I'm a kid. Can be a superhero. Okay. Alright. The parody of Christian. Party, you talk. That's the little Nas question. Yes, someone's saying, "Be a hero." What do you mean, be a hero? I am asking you, what would y'all do if y'all had Superman's powers? Don't lie. Remember, he got X-ray vision, so he could see through shit. So I mean, like literally, you could go on a date with someone and undress them with your fucking eyes. Would you do that? Okay, that is a question. Would you do that? Someone say, "Be a hero." <laughs> the boys is. R-rated Justin League Avengers. <laughs> Just bought some Bailey's chocolate. Yeah, I got a I got a Bailey's chocolate very recently myself, you know. Bailey's chocolate is um oh I haven't tasted it. I got a bottle of it though. I got a lot of drinking to do this month. Cause like last year I drank maybe like in the final two weeks. I had a couple drinks. I don't drink that often. So I plan to do that again. So so when that comes around, I'm gonna be tasting some shit. Okay, this dude, now this, 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 is, this is a real answer. What would you do if you had Superman's powers? I would take over the world. Okay, because I can tell you all right now, if you got Superman's powers, you ain't working no damn nine to five, okay? Hey, Superman on the construction site, could you lift those bricks? Could you fly that pile of the bricks over there? Okay, you ain't doing that shit, all right? And you could just walk in the bank and take what you want. Who can stop you? The security guard, okay? That bank, so you ever look at security guards now, homeboy? The security guard, okay, 95 years old, 95 years old, okay, and he walking around, you know, and, and he, he could barely walk, he can't run, he could walk, okay, <laughs> and and he got a gun on his side, I don't know if you all see these, he got a gun on his side, okay, one of them six shooters from them cowboy movies, one of them John Wayne movies, okay, y'all even know who John Wayne is, one of them Clint Eastwood, y'all ain't know who Clint Eastwood is either, okay, but you, what cowboy movie, what's the last cowboy movie you all see? I, I don't know, okay? But in cowboy movies, they used to have these, I can describe it. <laughs> they don't make cowboy movies anymore, you know? But what, you know, what the security guard, they all as hell. Like, well, how are he supposed to stop Superman with his damn six shooter? What are you going to do, throw it at him? Okay? You know what I mean? 
And then some of them hit him with them laser eyes. No, boy. Oh, boy. If I'm the security guard and Superman shows up to rob the bar, I ain't seen shit. Because I ain't testifying in court against Superman, okay? That dude would know where I live. He could find me. Because there ain't no security team that can protect you. So, you, you see, as a superhero, the rule's different. So, that's kind of how the boys works, okay? <laughs> These dudes do what they want. And it's big business. Why did you delete all of your old Sky John videos? I delete all my old Sky John videos, really. I mean, well, actually, I am bringing them back, okay? So I'm digitally remastering them, as I said earlier, and we, we re-upload them and getting them right. But it's in the member space, because I mean, like some of them, we're talking all kinds of crazy shit, you know, and stuff flagged and this and that. So, but by putting it in the member space, it makes it easier to, to work with, you know what I mean? Are you Jamaican? No, I'm from the Bahamas, homeboy, or homegirl. Or Ju you're in Juice World, right? This ain't from the grid. Anyway, let me, let me not go there. <laughs> oh, Lord. I would try be like Superman and rid the world of evil. No, you Regina, would you stop lying? You can try to rid the world of no damn evil, okay? Firstly, what do you do? Fly around every... Is shit always going on, okay? You want to think about that? Shit always going on. So you be working 24-7. You need time off, Okay. <laughs> You got to take a vacation at some point. Don't come with you trying to rid the world of, of evil. <laughs> fly, fly, of course. <laughs> so, so, Michael, Michael Wagner, okay? So, what you're saying is your superpower is mainly about air miles, okay? You're really worried about, like, crime... And saving the old lady who's building on fire. What you saying is, you know, Delta and Southwest, these tickets fucking expensive. I ain't got to deal with that no more. I'm just flying to Paris for fucking free, okay? By the way, okay, you can't just land in Paris, okay? Because that's illegal. You still have to go through, okay, TSA, okay? The Parisian TSA. I'm just, I'm just saying, okay, before you start breaking the law. I don't know, because you might get bitten by a spider or some shit and develop superpowers. So I don't want you to get caught up in some violation of law so definitely always check it with tsa okay whenever you fly in <laughs> rid the world of corrupt politicians <laughs> these are really good and noble answers but i know you're full of shit <laughs> be a villain see this is what i'm talking about grace and gavin this is what i'm this man understood the assignment okay <laughs> be a villain <laughs> <laughs> Say be a villain. What up? Shout out to the Philippines. What up, Philippines? <laughs> being a hoop, being a hero is underrated. People admire it. We, we try. Hey, what you doing? Simping? Trying to impress some girl with your superpowers? Look at this. I can live a bus. Okay. Let me let me tell you something. Okay. I want you to believe something, guys. I want you to take this in. Even though the dude has superpowers, okay, I can see through walls, have laser eyes. Is that a bullet? Is that a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's Superman. Or is it a bird? It's a plane, super, whatever. Even though he could do all that, I assure you, Superman still gonna get cheated on, okay? Not, I mean, most girls wouldn't do it, okay? Because you probably got super hearing and shit. You could hear when they're in their texting and all that. But Superman would still get cheated on, okay? Don't think he's special, all right? <laughs> What, what, oh, you in Bali? Okay, all right, all right, all right. The best bartender. Thank you, Lawando. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. <laughs> Everyone secretly hates Superman. I agree. Superman, I mean, because he's he too clean. You can't be that clean. You got to have, you got to have a little dirt. You know what I mean? Have a little dirt. Ho, 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 ho. Now we getting right answers. Now we get the answers. Okay, Sabrina Washington, you all pay attention to that name because if she works with you, you know she got a dirty mind. If you're single, you can check the whole package and know if it's a waste of your time. LOL. <laughs> you see where this is going? You see where she coming from now? Okay, Sabrina is trying to see through my freaking clothes. Okay? I thought only a guy would say something like that. But Sabrina, okay, Take a good look at her. Take a good look at that profile pic, okay? Watch out for her. Because if she gets superpowers, homeboy, she's looking at your goods. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> you know, that's how she is. <laughs> Look at this. This dude, dead, deadly, deadly is going with endless power. Why would you care about anything? That, that, dude, that, that sounds like Homelander. Don't, <laughs> Homelander is one of the characters in The Boys. That, that sounds like a dude who really don't give a shit. Really? You want fire in a burning house? Fuck that. I got a date. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I would I would try to save people I pass on the street. But someone always in trouble. So I can't help everyone. You know what I mean? I got other shit to do. I got to watch YouTube. <laughs> Superman is too clean. That's called projecting sky. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I am projecting a little bit, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, Brayton. Brayton with the comeback to Sabrina. Sabrina would realize that many men are, grow, are, are growers, not showers. Okay? That's not showers, guys. That's showers, okay? <laughs> All right, Brayton. Well said. That's what Brayton's a moderator, you know what I mean? Great comeback. <laughs> that guy, look at the guy. You remember I was talking about the six shooters back in the day? I mean, with the, with the security guard, if, they, if the if Superman break into the bank, the security guard have one number with six shooters, he's talking about a revolver. Yes, yes. It's always a dude from Texas, okay? That guy from Texas, they always know their weapons. If you want no weapons, talk to that guy from Texas, okay? <laughs> that guy from Texas, people. <laughs> female, female with superpowers could crush balls from a distance. Yeah, they probably do some shit like that, right? <laughs> crush balls from a distance. <laughs> Dude, so, okay, what, what, what the hell is going on with Twitter, all right? So, today I got to log into Twitter. You know, I, you know, this my, my little Twitter burner account, you know, like where you scrolling around, you know, you're stalking people, but you don't accidentally like something or reply to something and get busted right so i go to my little stalker account you know and i and i go to log in and i get hit with this message right <clears throat> and the message is you must remove test text message two-factor verification okay so apparently i don't know if this happened to you because they did this a while ago you know you know I, I, this happened a while ago but twitter now if you want two-factor verification on your account, for those of you who don't know, y'all don't fucking know what that is. You're on the internet, okay? That's where you secure your account with also like a text message or an email or some shit. Do that to all your sites, okay? But anyway, so if you want two-factor verification on Twitter, you got to pay for it? So hold on now. I got to pay to secure my account? What kind of fucking crazy shit that is? You know what I mean? Like, why Why would a site do that? It is almost like Elon Musk does not want us using Twitter. It's like, dude, yeah, I have Twitter, this beautiful thing, okay? But I'm not going to give it to you until you pay me. Do it. This fucking social media, no one will pay for social media. This shit's supposed to be free. What's supposed to be happening is you steal our information, okay, but you don't charge us. You will steal our information and charge us on top of that. Can you make up your fucking mind? Look at what Facebook and YouTube do. Just steal the shit and don't charge us. But you want steal and charge? I think Mr. Musk don't understand this game. I know he's supposed to be a genius and shit, right? But what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Amanda's going, no way. You need to pay me. You, you're right. <laughs> do you love Nicki Minaj, queen of rap? Man, ain't no queen of rap. I, I, I love... I love all the things. Auth auth authentication app is kind of the same thing, ain't it? Yeah, but okay, what I'm saying though, what I'm saying though, Valentino, is we already on we already on Twitter, all right? Everybody on Twitter having a good time. They have two-factor verification. The same thing YouTube has, same thing Facebook has, same thing all these sites have, TikTok. Okay? And they all free. You come in, you have fun, free. Elon's like, no! Okay? I don't want y'all here having fun for free and just steal y'all information. I want to steal your information, but I want you to pay me to steal it. What kind of crazy shit is that? Huh? Huh? You want me to pay this guy to mug me? Hold on, hold on. So I got $100 in my pocket, okay? And I walked to a dark alley. A couple dudes jumped me, okay? 
and you know your boy trained with John Wick, right? But I, I don't, I don't want to use those skills. Okay, so I let them rob me, beat me up, take my shit, and then I still send them a check later to thank them for robbing me. What kind of stupid shit is that? <laughs> you know, that's just super, super fucking crazy. But but hey, you know, it's 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 his site. He can do what he want, but I can tell you this now, dude. This dude, this dude killing the shit out of Twitter. <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm doing that on my little stalker account. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I ain't paying shit. You can take that. What's your favorite seafood dish from the Bahamas? Oh, boy, we went over this last night. Conk salad, homeboy. Conk salad. We went over this last... Conk, crack, conk, conk salad. We went over this last night <laughs> in detail. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh, someone said, I'm convinced he's AI. Truth. I don't, I mean, look. Okay, firstly, he didn't create Tesla. He was, you know, he, he bought it after, he got involved after it was founded. But he's, but okay, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Elon is a very smart guy, okay? And he was a part of OpenAI initially. And that felt, and he was a part of the founding of PayPal. Like, he he's, he's a smart guy. You can't. You can't, like, you can't take that, like, Fiona Fox is a person, I don't see Elon as a genius. I see him as a real idiot. Okay, but see, the thing is, he is smart. Like, when you, because, oh, yeah, you have the engineers that build SpaceX, the, all the ships and stuff, but he's still the guy who controls, okay? He's still, he's still the, you know, the maestro at the front, you know? With his, with his little wand controlling the, the the orchestra he's still that like steve steve jobs wasn't a coder as i understand it one of y'all tech guys could tell me but he still got apple up and running and flowing and stuff like they understand stuff you know and so i think elon falls more in that category but when, when he got caught up in this hype where he's the man and he's the big shit and people follow him like he had too many dudes like kissing his ass and i think it went to his head and now he's like just doing crazy stuff. So I know Twitter is going to tank because people leaving that fucking platform in droves and now the advertisers leaving in droves. And so he don't have enough people to keep that shit flowing, which means that he gonna have to pay with money from Tesla. Yeah, he's a billionaire. He's the richest man in the world, but he gonna have to keep selling Tesla stock to keep this shit going. You can only do that so much before you go like, dude, fuck this. Let me get rid of this. You know, that worth way less than he bought it for. And it was, and he overpaid for it. And now it's worth <laughs> way less than it was worth back then when he overpaid for it, you know? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, you know, we we're talking about Lil Nas, right? Because I've, I've been bouncing around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There I go. All right. So also in that Christian category, right? You have Black China. So Black China was huge on OF, right? That's only fans, for those of you who don't know, moving forward. So Black China was huge on OF, right? And for some reason, I don't know what happened, but recently she got saved too, okay? And so she took out all her fillers and I guess crazy piercings and whatever have you and is now living for Jesus and shut down her site. She did an interview the other day where she's saying like she gonna have to atone for her sin of inviting all these women onto OF, you know what I mean? So, so again, granted, she, <laughs> granted, I mean, we have to see how this plays out, you know, and then in the article, they were like, you know, during her two years on OF, she made $2 million, and I'm going, ha, 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 that's a lie, okay, because as a Christian woman, you can't lie, Black China was one of the biggest on that site. She was making millions a month, not one. You know, the calculation is she was doing a couple million dollars a month, but whatever. I ain't knocking her because, I mean, she could be genuine with this. Let's see how this goes, you know what I mean? But like I just say this, I see a lot of people from the influencing world, especially girls who do OF, you know, when, they, when they're trying to get out, they got to change stuff to get out. And so I'm, my question to you is very simply. Do you think she's sincere in trying to get out? Is she just trying to clean up and go on to the next stage of her life? Because trust me, she got the money. She wouldn't need to do that shit anymore. Because you can see estimates being like, oh, her net worth is 
two, three million. No dog. Not unless she was buying a Rolls Royce every day. Because she made, she is, someone saying it right here. Someone saying it right here. She, she made, she made enough money, switch teams in case the devil really does exist. <laughs> That is true, that is true, that is true. She made enough money to switch to just in case the devil does exist, okay? Let me, let, me, let me just talk to my boy real quick. A super chat. Someone just sent me uh, uh, a little bit of dough. I want to thank them. Thank you, Felix. Okay. Hey, Tipsy, how are you, bro? Greetings from Europe. Please say, damn, I have it. I don't say, damn, I have it, okay? <laughs> how good is your English, Felix? <laughs> I know there's a bunch of accents on your name, so I know you ain't sure. <laughs> it ain't dumb I have it, homeboy. It's on there you have it. You got to hit it. You got to feel it in your soul. See, when I do that, right, I feel it in my, my full body, okay? I twerk a little bit first just to get it right, just to get the flow right, and then I hit it, and there you have it, okay? Say it with passion. Say it like you mean it, Felix. That's what I'm talking about, homeboy. That is what I'm talking about. No, 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 this is not the tipsy bartender guy. This is cousin. <laughs> I'm Ralph, okay? And this is not live. This is pre-recorded. <laughs> no, this is very live. This is, <laughs> okay? That's my new phrase. Damn, I have it. <laughs> Felix, I love you, man. I love you, Felix. <laughs> okay, someone said, this, this goes back to the Black China conversation. Someone said, sometimes people need to change. Yeah, okay, listen. Okay, she's talking about this, you know. Sometimes people need to change. I had to write. Okay. Because, again, those of you just joining the conversation, because this number going up and down. You know, okay, Black China, like I said, was one of the top creators on OF. She made fucking bank. What she made in a month, according to people with inside information, was enough for most of us watching this chat right now to freaking retire for life dude like you they're done okay you go on vacation and live a decent life i ain't talking like where you go to you know the store and there's the premium meat for twenty dollars and then you got the basic meat down there for two dollars and you ain't exactly sure what kind of meat that is okay you know what i mean it ain't the right color there's blood in the package okay there's a little bit of fur on it, you know, that shit. Like, how many of y'all had to eat that, huh? Y'all ain't never eat that kind. That's the kind of meat I ate, homeboy. I grew up eating fur and shit, you know, and we ain't got no fur in the Bahamas. None of them animals in the Bahamas got fur. So I have no idea what they were. I mean, you have your dog and your cat, okay? But I don't think it was cat meat or dog. I, who knows what the hell that was? But I'm saying, like, okay, Black China was premium shit, man, you know? <laughs> oh, this, this is a great question. Are you gay? Not anymore. Not anymore. I tried it. One, two, three, four. Um, I tried about a hundred times and then I realized, you know, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me, okay? So now I'm straight. <laughs> this dude's going, yeah, no, he, he told me he used to be gay. No, I'm, I'm not gay. Not, not anymore. I, I, I stopped. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gay anymore. We all, you all remember that dude? You remember that video? The video of the guy, <laughs> okay, black dude in church, who's testified, he's going, I'm not gay anymore, okay? I don't like men's anymore. I'm delivered. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to play it because I know it probably belonged to someone that I get freaking. <laughs> and I, <laughs> Oh goodness! Yeah, I got, I got. Okay, people, people are laughing. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> what's up, India? India in the house. Hey, 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 homeboy from India. What's up, India? What's up? By the way, guys, you're free to ask me anything. Okay, it don't have to be my bartender. I'm your bartender. I'm here. I'm your therapist. I'm your bartender. I'm your lover. I'm whatever you want me to be. I'm a role player, homeboy. I'm playing the role, okay? You know what I mean? I'm just being frank with you. No, no, no. You're being frank, homeboy. You was frank last night. I'm frank tonight. (laughs) 
You know why I'm doing this, right? Just so I could talk a bunch of shit. Because usually these conversations I have, I have with myself in the bathroom, okay? That's why, you know, a lot of people think I'm mentally ill. But now I get to act as if I'm talking to you, even though I'm really just talking to myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you still with your British girlfriend? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. She ain't here right now, though. But yes, yes, I am. Yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. Homeboy! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I try to be funny, man, okay? My joke's corny as hell, okay? My jokes are pretty, pretty, pretty corny. <clears throat> okay, guys, okay. Earlier, I asked you, like, what's a simp, right? And when I asked that, okay, this, this, this story time, okay? <laughs> Should I even tell this story? Because the Bahamas so fucking small, right? See, the problem is, I got good stories, right? But if I tell Bahamian stories, only 10 people live there, so people might know who the hell I'm talking about, especially if you know me. But this, this was a while ago. All right, I'm going to tell you all this story, okay? <clears throat> I got to get mentally right to tell you all this one. This is not a story about simps. I was earlier talking about simping, okay? We can talk. This is a story about let's 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 change let's change it from simping to <laughs> Okay, let's just change this for dating <laughs> the wrong person, alright? Guys have you ever dated the wrong person? Okay, let me let me stop with you all first, and then we can we can lead into where the story is gonna go, because this can go to a place that y'all ain't really expected. Okay, <laughs> dating the wrong person. How many of you have dated the wrong person? Huh? Let me line this shit up. Come on now, be sexy. Oh, there you go. How many of you have dated the wrong person? <laughs> Okay, how many of you dated the wrong person? Tea spilling time. That's what I'm talking about. Tea spilling. You know, I can just jump into it because I don't, I don't, listen, let's, let me just get the story, right? So, okay, this is in the Bahamas. <clears throat> Dear Lord, please, I hope these people don't know this fucking woman to tell this story because this could jeopardize my life, okay? <clears throat> so, I'm round. I'm, I'm about, I'm, I'm like about 18 years old, right? I'm, I'm 18 years old. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, hold on let, me just, let me just respond to my boy real quick. And then I come to you all, okay? Okay. You're the best, Tipsy. I'm also planning to take a mixer course because your videos have been... Dude, I got the best bartending course in the world. In the fucking world. On YouTube. It's on YouTube, though. Okay? It's a playlist. Okay, where I go in depth. We spend forever putting this shit together. But it's behind, it's in the membership thing. It's three bucks to become a member. Just pay that. You can watch the course as many times as you want. You know what I mean? Like, wh whatever, okay? It's three bucks. It's on YouTube. I got the link pinned to the top of YouTube. Go check that shit out. Okay, now I, I'm, I'm not going to break any more okay right now on this story. So are you all ready for this fucking story? <laughs> are you all ready? <laughs> okay, this is TC. Spilling time. Hell, oh, someone said, hell, I've married the wrong person. I mean, <laughs> someone say, can none say they dated the wrong person at least once. Okay, very true, very true. Okay, so let me, let me tell you on this story. Okay, I'm in the Bahamas, all right? I'm in the Bahamas. I'm 18 years old. And, you know, it's me and my boy, okay? Me and my boy. Like, we always roll everywhere together. And so we were, we're out one day, and we run into these two girls, okay? And he tried to he tried to hit it off with his, it ain't work out. That's, that's how shit is, you know what I mean? The, the, the one that he hit it off with, that he was trying to hit it off with, didn't work out. Mine, the one I was hitting on was, you know, she was receptive to my shit, you know, and, and she was laughing at my corny ass jokes. <laughs> you know? Are you an angel? Well, you know what I mean? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Some stupid shit, you know? So one of them pickup lines that could get you slapped, right? But it was so corny, you know, she ain't slapped me. She was just like, <laughs> that's not really fun. But anyway, you know, your boy, your boy, your boy was, you know, able to lay down the line, you know, like lay, lay down, you know, spit my game. Everything's flowing, right? And 
she gave me the number, whatever, and we, you know, we had, you know, a, a date or two. And the second date, like, I look at her closely and I realize, like, like her, the jaw was like miss a lot, like her teeth were a little, like a little different, right? So I'm like, uh, you know, I figured, well, I'm comfortable. You know, we had the point where I could ask this question. So I was like, what's, what's, up, what's up with your mouth? All right. <clears throat> and she was like, well, you know, my husband, because she was my hold on. I'm 18. She like about, she's like about, she's about 20. She's a little older than me. You know what I mean? She's about two years older. <laughs> so, so I'm like, you know, what's, what's wrong with your, your jaw? And she was like, well, you know, when I was married, okay. This I, this I found out that she had been married before. When I was married, my husband was abusive and he hit me. Okay. And it, messed up my teeth and my you know that's why i have these fake teeth right and i'm going oh damn you know that's 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 fucked up you know like a man in my opinion should never ever put his hands on a woman okay you know what i mean so, I, so I already already pissed thank you felix for joining the tipsy army i appreciate that go look for the membership course so i'm like what, what the, you know i'm like okay 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 cool and, you know, we, we hanging out and we talking and all that, you know, but dude, something about her just ain't fucking right. You ever had a feeling where you know, you know, hey, I might not be alone, you know, I might, like, you in the shower, you home alone, but you feel like something else there, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of them kind of feelings with her, right? So, we, we, we hanging out one day. We weren't hanging out that often, okay? So, I'd been out with her maybe, like, two times and no I did not close the deal my game sucked okay there was no way I could just get out of drawers like that I couldn't even get my drawers off you know what I mean because I don't I barely know how to put them on okay <laughs> so so anyway anyway you know so one day someone kind of cut me off in traffic or something like that right and I'm rolling with her and she look out the window and she's like we should fuck them up. And I'm like, excuse me? What, what do you mean? Like, I'm sorry. We just get cut off in traffic. Not like a big cut off where someone intentionally did. You know, just a little. We should fuck them up. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, what she said was like very violent. You know what I mean? Like, like what, what do you mean? Like, very. You know what I And I'm, I'm like, I was, I was shocked. I heard her. But I ain't really pay too much attention. I, I ain't say nothing about it. I just roll with that, right? Anyway. <laughs> Later on that night, we in a more intimate situation. No, I still ain't smashing, okay? When I say more intimate situation, I mean I'm not driving. We sitting there talking. And that's, you know, and, and we somehow the car that we cut off or whatever come back up, right? And she was saying, you know, like, she's like, you know, I don't play. You know, I don't fuck around. She's telling me the story, right? And she's like, because my husband was laying in bed and he upset me and I pick up a lamp, Sky, I grab this giant lamp, we had a big lamp, and I just smash it on his head. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Here I am thinking that this dude <laughs> is the abuser, okay? It's the fucking chick, because the more I talk, I realize she's the fucking psycho, okay? She's the crazy one in this relationship. This dude had all kinds of stitches from this girl, okay? He probably had to get a restraining order against us. So now I'm sitting there going, holy fuck, okay? You know, I, 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 I don't know if this is the smartest thing to do. I mean, you walk, I'm like, I already put in like three, four dates, you know what I mean? That didn't cost me about back then $50, okay? You know what I mean? Like, I've already invested in this. Like, I don't want to just leave. Now you're going like, how you manage to date with just $50, right? <laughs> Oh boy, I was cheap by then, okay? <laughs> you know, I buy the girl a drink, I drink water or something. I, I mean, like, I, I have to cut costs, okay? I had no money, all right? So, I realized that this, this dude, this girl's a fucking psycho. So now, I start trying to extricate myself from this relationship, remove myself from this relationship. So, I stop calling as often, you know what I mean? Not I, you know what I mean? Like kind of stepping back, trying to make sure that, you know, that we don't get too freaking close. So this one Saturday, <laughs> this one Saturday, hold on, as we talk, she more open with me now, right? 
And I realized this girl is the neighborhood fucking psycho. She didn't fight everyone. She didn't destroy her husband. She didn't beat up all her sisters. You know what I mean? Fight a brother. Like, dude, this chick, I mean, this chick is straight fucking violence. You know? <laughs> and all of a sudden, you know, you know, when I'm around her, like I'm driving, you know, but I'm, you know, you know, when you got that little shake, you ever, you ever been like scared when you like, you know, you know, like, yeah, and I, 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 I'm really into it too. You know, you, 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 you're beautiful. You, you, you're amazing. I can't even get words out right because that's how fucking scared I am with this girl, right? <clears throat> anyway, so. <laughs> So Saturday roll around, the Saturday roll around, right? And I will go hang out with my boy, go to the mall party and all that sort of shit, you know? <laughs> Do my own thing, because I realize, homeboy, you have to forget about that $50 you spent on her and, and move on, you know? You hate to, you know, invest in something that don't work out, but whatever, you know, this life. So... I call her up and I'm like, hey, you know, I have to do some stuff for my mom. I really would like to see you today, but this, <laughs> just to see she sounds ghetto as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but she don't come off like that, homeboy. She don't come off like that. <laughs> You're not going to think so when you meet her. So I tell, I tell her, look, I got to do some stuff with my mom, right? You know, I got to help her with some stuff. I really want to see it was just that I have to help my mom, all right? <laughs> So she's like, okay, well, I got to do some stuff anyway. It doesn't matter, right? I'm, I'm going to be doing X over here, right? So me and my boy, my best friend, we go to the freaking mall. We roll and ride, you know. You know, you're like 18. There's, you know, other teenagers in the mall and shit, you know, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? All this sort of stuff. And, you know, your boy, like, I didn't just become a fat bastard. I was always a big eater, you know, your boy... In the mall, get an ice cream cone, one of them double scoop freaking ice cream cones, you know, and I'm, I'm just rolling around. You know, what, what a grown man like you doing licking ice cream in the fucking mall sky? Look, I like ice cream, okay? So I'm just, you know, I'm just rolling around licking my, my, my ice cream, okay? You got a problem with that too? You need to get in touch, okay? <laughs> with your emotions. Ain't nothing wrong with licking ice cream in the public, you know? So I'm, I'm out there licking my, my ice cream, right? <laughs> While me and my boy walking. And he looking at me like, dude, you got to lick it like that? But anyway, that's not the point. It's not about the licking of the ice cream. I got my ice cream, right? So as I'm walking, hey, thank you, Sally, for... Oh, wait, that's... Is that who I think that is? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, Sally Forth. <laughs> Sally Forth has just become a member. I appreciate the support, Sally. <laughs> anyway, so I'm licking my ice cream, right? And... I turn the corner and immediately I get grabbed by my neck and push up against the wall, okay? Yes, me. I, I might, I'm like this and I'm trying to figure, oh shit, what did I do? What do would I piss off? Got me up here by my throat. And as I look down, I realize this up, okay? She got me by my fucking neck. And her words right off the bat to me is, I should smash this fucking ice cream in your face. What the fuck are you doing in this mall? You know? <laughs> All right, Sally, I can... Sally's telling me she needs my advice. Okay, I, I can go here later on. So she's like, what the fuck are you doing in this mall? And I'm like, well, see, back then, most people ain't had cell phones, right? <laughs> so, so your boy was a little quick on his feet going like, well, look here, man. Um, I... I called your house, but you weren't there, okay? I called your house, but you weren't there because I finished what I was doing for my mom early and I wanted to see you, okay? But, <laughs> but you weren't there, okay? You know, I, I yeah, it's just that you, you, weren't, you weren't there. Um, but what are you doing here, okay? Because I'm really hurt to see you here. Were you going out behind my back? And she was like, well, no, I was just at the mall. You know, she started looking acting a little guilty and shit, right? And I'm praying, dear Lord, please let everyone be cheating on me, even though we in a couple, okay? Please let her be seeing someone fucking else. Please, Lord, let her be seeing someone else. Anyway, like, after that incident, right, I was like, you know, I mean, like, I don't feel you had to do that, you know? I, you know, ah, go, you know, whatever. So I, t I said something to that effect, and after that, I really pulled back 
in calling and I slowly disappear and all that, you know what I mean? And she lived in a sketchy neighborhood, okay? <laughs> okay, a bad neighborhood. Let's not use words like sketchy. And I lived in an even sketchier fucking neighborhood. That's the beauty of my neighborhood. So you can't just bust up in my neighborhood doing some shit, okay? Because there's only one way in and one way out, homeboy. Anyway, <clears throat> so we kind of grew apart, right? I moved to America. <laughs> And I'd been here several years, and then I go back to fucking visit, right? And I walk in the supermarket, and I turn a corner, and she walked right into me. And she's like, what's up, Sky? How you doing? Okay, she walked smiling. And I'm like, good, good, good. How things been with you? I'm like, oh, shit. Are we still dating? Because I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure. Even though 10 years had passed, am I allowed to break up with her? I don't fucking know. Even though we were never a couple. She's like, yeah, no. She's like, yeah, yeah. I met Mr. Wright, and she showed me she got on a ring, right? And then it was this 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 white guy who had been visiting the Bahamas as a tourist. She married him, you know. And I'm looking at this dude, you know. I, I, she introduced me. This is this is my husband. And I'm looking at him, you know. I tried to give him all kind of signals, you know. You know, like <laughs> you know. But but my, my boy didn't know the code. He didn't pick up one nothing like that, you know. So and then they walk out the store holding hands. Lord, let everyone in here. It's Sunday. I know. Many of you might not be religious, but I ask you to pray for that man if he's still alive, because this was a couple of years ago, okay? Because <laughs> I can tell you something right now. If that dude say he can be home by 8, and he show up at 8.02, boy, that's his ass, okay? That is his ass, because she don't give a fuck. If she date King Kong, she would fuck that dude up, okay? <clears throat> but some of you are like that kind of woman, you know? So if that's the kind of woman you like, Hold at your boy, I'll give you the number. May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he? No, he did not have any broken bones that I could see. But who knows? Maybe, maybe he really submitted to it. Maybe he listens to whatever she say. Because I can tell you right now, that, that's a really dangerous situation, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, I've never seen a girl like that. This one, straight violent. <laughs> she cutting chicken and you turn the music up too loud. And she got a knife in her hand, homeboy. That's your ass. <laughs> Harsh it. I love your name, homeboy. What's up? It's your boy Harsh it in the house. First time heard a man wishing his girl to be a cheat on <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that one? You want that one cheating on you. Okay? So you could go, well, listen, you know, I caught you two in bed, and I want you to know I'm not upset. But I think that you should be with him, not with me. So I'm going to let you all finish up. I can cook a little dinner for you guys out front. Okay? And then afterwards, I'm going to leave. He can move in. You can have my spot. Okay, homeboy? Have my spot. Okay? I just grab a toothbrush. You no, know, fuck the toothbrush. I'll buy a new one. Good luck, good luck, and I'm the, I'm out the, I'm out of there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sky, that is terrifying, homeboy. Oh I'm surprised you. Didn't. Yeah, I just remembered that shit when they started the sipping shit. Okay, when they started, I was asking you guys what sipping early. <laughs> I, I had to ask you. <laughs> fun times, man. Fun times. <laughs> What a time to be alive. <laughs> Guys, you all saw. <clears throat> okay, they put out the list. I just screen grab blue. They put out the list of the best movies of 2023. This is the list of the best movies of 2023. I guarantee you most of us ain't seen none of these. I wonder who put these lists together, okay? This was Newsweek or Time or one of them. Okay, number 10. Okay, just just tell me. <laughs> you like that toothbrush line? <laughs> you like that toothbrush line, my lord? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> all right, so this is the top movies of 2023, okay? Top movies of 2023. <laughs> Fallen Leaves. Maestro, Zone of Interest, Priscilla, Reservoir, Paris, Past Lives, Killers of, Killers of the Flower Moon is the only one I recognize on this list, okay? And I, I haven't seen it yet because it's three and a half hours and 
I mean, that's a huge chunk of my life. You know, I have to take vacation to watch that shit. It's so freaking long. Uh, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Dreaming Wild Passage. Any of y'all watch any of this shit? Like, who put... Yeah, not even Oppenheimer's on the list. Oppenheimer is not on the list. Okay? Oppenheimer's not on the list. Dude, when these dudes put together these Hollywood lists, like, Hollywood dudes got the craziest fucking taste you've ever seen in, like, what they consider a good movie. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> if y'all remember, several years ago, okay, the Academy Award was between Shakespeare in Love and Saving Frickin' Private Ryan. Do y'all remember that shit? The beach scene in Saving Private Ryan? I watched the beach scene in Saving Private Ryan in the frickin' movie theater, okay? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me answer Sally's question. I know Sally, so let me, let me just answer a question and we coming, we coming back to this, all right? Let me answer Sally. Okay. Sally, Sally gets dating advice from me. Just real shit. I know her, okay? <laughs> so I got to ask. Okay, quick. So if a guy you know is too tough for you, ask you to go to go jet skiing, couldn't you just go jet skiing and leave it at that? Tell me. If a guy you know is too tough for you. What you mean too tough for you, Sal? You got to be more specific. <clears throat> is he too tough for you? You mean like what? Like you going out with Rambo or some shit? Like what do you mean he's too tough for you? <clears throat> like he's not your type. And he asked, couldn't you just go? No, but if you go jet skiing with the dude, Sally, okay? And you're really into him? I mean, that could kind of be leading him on. Look here, some girls will go to dinner with you and have a full meal. <laughs> and and then bounce, you know? But but. I, I don't know. Be, 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 be careful with that. Call me later. Call me later, Miss Sally. She got to go walk the dog. Okay, y'all like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> we go way back. Okay, anyway, going back to the movies, right? <clears throat> going back to the movies. All right, so the Academy Awards going on, and it's between Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> he, oh, he reminds you that motherfucker. <laughs> then don't do it. Then don't do it, Sally. Sally had a she had a bad boyfriend. So she's she's telling me, yeah, definitely don't fucking do it. Okay, anyway, guys. So the Academy Award is between Saving Private Ryan and Shakespeare in Love. Okay, if y'all remember the beach scene in fucking Saving Private Ryan, ladies and gentlemen, this shit was the most intense shit ever. Okay? After the beach scene in Saving Private Ryan, okay. I walked out of the theater and I fucking paid again because I didn't want to rob them. And we're back in to watch the rest of the movie. That's how dope that shit was, okay? That shit had dudes in the military going to see psychiatrists because it fucked them up so bad how, he, how dope that scene was. And then they gave the freaking award to Shakespeare in Love. What the fuck, okay? <laughs> you remember that movie? Gwyneth Paltrow and I think Ben Affleck. I don't fucking even know who was in it. I don't even really know what it's about, okay? Some shit. How? Saving? What the fuck? Anyway. But anyway, my point my point being is that Hollywood have really weird taste in movies. That's why this list don't make any freaking sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> what you laughing at, boss? Boss at cleaning? Okay, but now, now, let me show you the top movies of 2023 because they put all these lists together now okay so the top movies of 2023 ladies and gentlemen are number one is barbie number two is super mario smart super, super mario brothers spider-man gardens of the galaxy oppenheimer's on this list but not on the best movies list the little mermaid avatar way of the water Ooh, I, I thought avatar way of the water would have been the biggest movie mm. all right all right all right Avatar, Way of the Water, Ant-Man, John Wick, Sound of Freedom. All right. Oh, because Avatar opened late in, late, opened late in 2022. You see? So, so, the, so the, it has more money than it was made then. But yeah, that, that makes sense. But Barbie, Barbie was the killer. How many of y'all watch Barbie? Did y'all love Barbie? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. <laughs> say I'm, this dude say I'm laughing at Sally. I don't think Sally's still here. She, she probably... She probably bounced. <laughs> but I give her <laughs> I give her very personalized dating advice, okay? <laughs> she and I go way back. We in completely different age categories, everything like that, but 
you know, I'm like, hey, look here, I'll, I'll help you. Someone said that was before my time, Saving Private Ryan. What do you mean Saving Private Ryan was before you? Saving Private Ryan ain't that old a movie. But it's, and if you're into war movies, that's still one of the dopest war movies ever, okay? That, that gotta be up there. Saving Private Ryan, Full Metal Jacket, Platoon, what else? Hacksaw Ridge, Hamburger Hill. You know what I mean? Like, dog, dog. If you're into war movies, you know, you gotta watch that shit, you know? Let's see what Saving Private Ryan was. Saving Private Ryan was, oh shit. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan was 1998. Holy fuck. I didn't know it's that old. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan. Wow. Okay, you got me there, Courtney. You got me there. Courtney's, Courtney's crying. She should be laughing at my ass. She's going like, Scott, he's so fucking old. Hmm, okay. You so old, Sky. You was around when they had not Neanderthals and Homo sapiens rolling dice together. Homeboy, homeboy, homeboy. Okay? That is not true. I'm not that old. That's Joe Biden years, okay? Joe Biden used to play with Pharaoh, okay? I came along around time, Christopher Columbus. That was my boy, okay? Me and Columbus. Columbus was like, hey, Sky, you want to roll with us on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria? And I was like, man, y'all got AC? Well, no, Sky, AC hasn't been invented yet. Nah, I ain't fucking coming then. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying. That's, that's my time period, all right? <laughs> that's my time <laughs> oh have I ever seen the movie Falling Down with Michael Douglas fuck yeah that's another classic that's another old movie that I'd wave dude that shit from the 80s or something like that maybe even the 70s no probably the 80s okay <laughs> when this dude just loses his shit <laughs> that <laughs> they need to remake that okay <clears throat> Christopher Columbus go crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was a different time back then. Oh, 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 tipsy bartender, have you seen Apocalypse Now? Yeah, of course. So you, I, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Don't call Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor was not no damn great freaking movie, okay? Pearl Harbor was there, too. But Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a Ben Affleck one. Pearl Harbor was, ugh. You know, that could have been great. Cuba Gooden Jr. was in that Ben Affleck. I remember that shit. <laughs> Courtney, like, I was barely alive in 98. <laughs> but, dude, that, that shit. That, see, see, okay, okay. This, y'all know Harvey Weinstein, right? Y'all know Harvey Weinstein, the dude who got accused of all the shit in Hollywood. So, here's, here's, here's what happened. She says barely alive in 98. Okay, here's what happened. So you got Shakespeare in Love against freaking Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan, way better fucking movie. But the shit political, you know? So Harvey Weinstein just greased the right wheels and Shakespeare in Love won. Same thing, like Jaws is a classic movie, right? Jaws was up against some other shit and Jaws, Jaws, um, <clears throat> Jaws lost. And all you all scared to go in the ocean because of fucking Jaws. Because Jaws is the one that made us really scared of sharks. I forgot who Jaws lost to. Let me see. Jaws lost Academy Award. Yeah. Oh, go, he's going against One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest. I, know, I mean, that's the Jack Nicholson movie from, you know, way back as well. And so, I mean, that's also a classic movie. I watched that a long time ago, but I, I don't remember. You know, because that, that 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 before my time too. Um, <clears throat> it's a tiger shark. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you you a guest scared shitless? Be in the water when a shark fucking pull up, dude. Because they they so big, they so fast. Like during my fishing days in the Bahamas, dog, damn dude, and they could move. So basically, you have. This thing just screws up on you and just like, what's up? You know what I mean? And you can't do shit, okay? That's what it's like being in the walk with a shark. It's, it's scared. It's scary. Tipsy Barton, South Park Raiders made a song called Pearl Harbor Sock and I miss you. <laughs> yeah, I remember Team America. You should, I remember, of course I remember Team America. <laughs> America! 
Fuck yeah, that's where that comes from, Team America. I thought Jaws was supposed to be the Great White or Megalodon. Dude, I don't know. No, no, Jaws is the Great White, I think. Because Megalodons were fucking huge, you know. There's that movie with Jason Stratham now where he, called Meg, where he shows these giant sharks. Okay, but he got them doing some incredible shit, okay? <laughs> like, the sharks in that movie are fucking big. But of course, you know, they can't win because it's Jason Stratham, you know? <laughs> yeah, Tack, yeah. Jaws is a great white, yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Wouldn't they call it Barbie Heimer? Yeah, Barbie Heimer, when Oppenheimer took on Barbie. But they both did well at the box office. And I was in Barbie. I was watching Barbie. Uh, but the phone rang and we had to go, I had to go do some shit. So I actually left the movie when I was watching Barbie. So I haven't, I got to watch it on TV, you know? You can't see me, I'm John Cena. All right, all right, John Cena. I dream of repeating your cocktails. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Something off with the something off with the with the with the emojis because it's typing like I mean the the laughing emojis were up and by <laughs> they used to call it Barbie Barbie Heimer, you know, like Ben and Jennifer Benifer. I'm thirty. Okay, let's look at this. I'm thirty and currently drinking a screwdriver for the first time since I was like fifteen. The nostalgia. Oh, that's 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 really cute, Amanda. You were fucking drinking <laughs> screwdrivers at fifteen. <laughs> Where were your parents? Okay, see, okay, guys, there's a lot to look at, Amanda, when it comes to this. There's a lot to read into this, okay? Because firstly, when the kids drinking, okay, they ain't really mixing proper shit. You know, they just happy to have a bottle of fucking peach snaps that they could drink, right? They're not actually sitting there like drinking shit, okay? But what Amanda is telling us is that age 15, Amanda was already a mixologist. She, her drinking was so fucking advanced that she was actually mixing cocktails for her and her friends. Amanda, where did that come from, okay? You have to enlighten us, okay? Because I think you let, this is a case study, okay, of drinking in America. <laughs> I heard, heard Bobby was great white too. <laughs> Ohio loves you. Thank you, Chad Tubbs. I appreciate that. Amanda, you need to get back to us on that, okay? What you doing mixing drinks at 15, okay? <clears throat> so, I, so, okay, the other day I was in Hawaii, right? And I ran a test on my godchildren. Not my children, my god, my, my godchildren, okay? You know, they like two and four, and so they watch like just kid stuff on TV. And what I noticed is they start watching people making like small foods, you know, like someone making like a mini hot dog, you know, like where they have to use like tweezers to put the shit together. So I was like, let me just try a tipsy bartender video on these dudes. Cause tipsy bartender got a lot of colors. So I picked a colorful video and, and he did watch it. He did watch it. I'm not advocating that you show tipsy bartender videos to your kids. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I was running a test on my godchildren. Cause I can already see this video coming back going, oh, you know what he does? He uh, actually plays his videos for kids. What he's trying to do is work, you know, to get them addicted to alcohol at a very early age so that as they age, get older, then they can come back to him for more. What? That's, that's not what I'm saying. I just was comparing the colors, okay? Stop blaming me for shit, man. What's up, Rome? Not much love from Rome. Hello, New York. You know, I'm just saying, I was, I was just testing shit out, okay? Oh, where I'm from, we drank at an early age. Yeah, okay? It's called America, okay? It's called fucking America. Amanda, where I'm from, okay? <laughs> you know, I thought she was going to... Notice she didn't say, oh, I'm from, you know, Siberia, and we drink at five there, you know? No, she's like, where I'm from, which tells you she mean America, but she's trying to say it in a, some sophisticated way so we don't realize that she was drinking <laughs> right here at home. <laughs> <laughs> they must be Mexican. <laughs> Where I'm from, we drink at an early age. <laughs> okay, guys, here's the here's the top streaming music songs. Okay, here's the top top streaming songs. Okay, here's the list. Okay, so these were the tops. 
So there's no debate here. These were the top songs that streamed on Apple. Okay, so we can't we debate who's the best, who's this, who's that. This is the top songs. You know, last night we hit the lick. What I can't I can't remember the words, but I like the song. Then you got Flowers by Miley Miley Cyrus, and then you got Kill Bill by what's her name? Let me hear you pronounce it. Okay, pronounce her name. Her name is S Z A. What is that, guys? What is S Z A? Scissor, okay? Scissor, scissor, okay? Scissor. <laughs> Remember the first time I saw her name? I had to go fucking Google that. Google pronunciation, you know? That's the thing with these artists, okay? They come up with these, they put a bunch of letters together, you know? No vowels, X, Y, J, Q, L, P, T, and then you gotta pronounce this shit, you know what I mean? But at least hers has a vowel in there, but scissor, scissor. <laughs> Oh, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge Breezy fan. So number eight is one of my favorite jams. Okay, Brayden. Oh, so you're a huge Chris Brown fan. <laughs> Most people do admit that they're Chris Brown fans. I mean, look, look. What happened with him? And it's way in the past. Everybody's kind of, I mean, not everybody's kind of move on. Some people still, you know, <clears throat> talk about it. But hey, okay. She, he's a Breezy fan. Oh, shit. Is Tipsy going through a midlife crisis? Three streams in three, three days? Oh, you don't understand. Oh, Joe Cobb, you won't get, you won't, you won't get the message. I intend to stream every day. Now, there's going to be a break in, in December, you know, because Christmas coming and I already have shit planned. I got to do this. I got to do that, right? So there's going to be, there's going to be some days where I'm not streaming in, in December, you know, like, it'll be like, like a week or two where I might not be streaming, you know, later December, like towards Christmas and New Year's and shit like that. But January, when we're back every fucking day going hardcore, homeboy. And then I have my little correspondence, okay? I have girls who are going to help me with this streaming thing, you know what I'm saying? So let, 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 let me show you, let me show you, let me show you my peeps, okay? This is the most LA Oh, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. This was, this was last night. I can show you a lot later, okay? It's this one. Guys, that's, that's Janessa, okay? This Shayla, okay? You can see them again, okay? I can have them doing some stuff. Work, work, work stuff. Work, work stuff, you sick bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's, that's, um. Guys, that's, that's Janessa, okay? This Shayla. So that's Janessa and Shayla. Both of them, both of them have already been on Tipsy Bartender. Janessa's done. Um, has she been on Tipsy Bartender? She's been in a lot of my stories because she bartends at the Naughty Pig, and Shayla also has bartended at the Naughty Pig. So both of them have bartending past. Janessa was a news anchor in North Dakota. Let me let me let me show you her. So she was a news anchor in North Dakota. So when we when we start going live. Uh, next year, she's definitely gonna be calling in and you know get my little on the street activities happening. And then Shayla, right here, she's been on the show too on on Tipsy Bartender. She's done um, there's some Ariana Grande spoof I did where she's in it. She's done other stuff with me too. You know what I mean? So, and they both they both they both worked at the Naughty Bake. Shayla doesn't work there anymore. Janessa's still there, and we you know we gonna. You, you can see, like, next year, the streaming is going to be insane, homeboy. We, we, we going freaking hard. That's why I tell you all I'm a streamer. You all just can't, you just can't see it yet, you know? But it's, 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 it's freaking coming. Okay, here we go. Amanda, that's just a girl who started drinking, mixing cocktails. She was a mixologist at 15. You are a bartender at some point, right? Wasn't there a story of you being a streamer and they, they firing you or quitting for some reason or did did I dream that? No, I, I was I was a bartender. When I say a streamer, right? When, okay, um, streamer is like what I'm, okay, that's a live show, but it's live shows that tend to go on a lot longer than me just coming in. Like if I come in and I do a live video and just make one drink, you know, that's not streaming, that's just a live video. Streamer is like when you actually sit there and you, or, or in real life walk down the street, but like you stream for like, you know, hours and hours at a time you know what i mean that's that's more what streaming is in my opinion okay yeah so oh okay she asked about the firing yes but that's because i was <laughs> an influencer okay i i got fired because i was kind of an, okay so 
Let, let me tell you the story Amanda's talking about. If you heard it before, just bear with me, okay? Just sit tight and bear with me. <laughs> All right? So, okay. How I got fired. Let's 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 just let's let's just do it right, okay? Let's let's just do it right, Amanda. My favorite cocktail girl. Where is okay. Let me let me let me let me let me just Okay. Why why did the bar fire me? Okay. Here we go. Here we go, Amanda, with this lovely story. All right. So, <laughs> this one's for Amanda and for people who are curious, okay? So, all right, hold tight, hold tight. Yes, sir. Okay, why did the bar fire me, okay? All right. So, let me get Amanda's words off the screen. And someone asked me if I could speak Hindi. Fuck no, I can't speak Hindi. Okay. Why did the bar fire me? Okay, this one's for Amanda. So, your boy, all right, I'm an original, like in terms of internet, in terms of being an influencer, I'm an original, okay? Like I was around before the word influencer existed. I was around before we truly understood like what social media even fucking truly was. So I started, I started, um, I jumped on YouTube back in like 2000. And I posted a video in 2006, but it was just me fucking around on a boat. Then I posted something in 2007. 2000, yeah, and then I really started posting hardcore in 2008. So I've been on, I've been an influencer since 2008, right? This before money, this before dudes were, you know, true internet celebrities. Like we're all there for the most part, just having fun. You know, I remember like getting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and that was like a big fucking deal to me. And then shortly afterwards, Shane Dawson jumped on YouTube and he was at 200,000 like overnight. I was, still wasn't number one at 100,000. There was dudes ahead of me, but I'm just saying like back then, 100,000 people following you on YouTube was a fucking huge deal, right? Anyway, I just demonstrate how early it was. And, you know, sometimes I'd be bartending and editing videos behind the bar. Don't do that. You know what I mean? Um... Every lunch break I get, these 30-minute lunch breaks, I'm running the freaking computer to see what's up, you know. Okay, so I started fucking early. And as I did it, like, you know, 2008 rolled into 2009, 2010, like, you know, we built, all of us building momentum on this platform. Monetization is introduced, so we all making a couple of dollars. No one rich or anything like that yet. Maybe one or two dudes. No one, no one, like, have a bunch of money. I only got, you know, I mean, like, you know, I, I'm making a couple of dollars, nothing, you know, can't live off it, can't pay rent or nothing like that, you know, but every month I get like a couple hundred dollars, something like that. And then these, what call MCNs were created. These are called multi-channel networks. What multi-channel networks are is these guys come in and they grab a bunch of different channels, right? So say for instance, everyone watching this was an influencer making videos. All of us would sign up with this company and then they would kind of put us in their network, like they own all these channels and sell ads against it and all kinds of other shit, you know? And so as a result of that, <clears throat> they paid us a lot more. So I went from making a couple hundred dollars a month, right? To a couple thousand a month. Like this was a fucking huge jump, okay? <laughs> right? So at this point, I make the decision to, like, I'm a bartender. You know what I can do? I can just give away all my fucking shifts, okay? I don't have to, I don't have to do this shit. Let me just give away all my shifts. And I'm going to just focus on streaming. I mean, not streaming. Focus on, on you know, this, this whole making video thing, you know? And I, I began doing that. Because remember, like, I was in Hollywood doing the, the whole acting thing. I even stopped that and was just primarily focus on 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 YouTube you know so I'm doing this I'm doing this and the manager of the bar who I'm friends with you know one day they call she called me up and she's like sky um do you still want to work here I'm like dude you know I love this company I want to be at this bar this is Barney's Beanery this is the hot spot that everybody going to right now like all these influences you all follow there in LA they hang out at this bar that's the bar that I started at okay that's 
It's my original fucking bar. That's where Tipsy Bartender was born. So they call me up and they're like, Sky, um, are you are you still interested in working here? And I'm like, listen, I love this job, okay? I, I love this job. They were like, Sky, you ain't been to work in fucking months. Every shift you give away, right? And they don't want you doing that. They don't mind you going away for like a week or two because bartending job is very flexible, right? But they, 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 you know, they don't want you giving away every ship and never showing up, you know? And I had been doing this for fucking months. So I told them, listen, I love this company. I want to be with this company. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to be loyal to the company. I'm going to be here, okay? And <laughs> I started giving away shifts again. Anyway, so they monitored me over the next three months, all right? They monitored me over the next three months. Out of three months, okay, <laughs> 16 weeks, I work, I, what? <laughs> Once or twice in three months, okay? I gave away every fucking shift, right? Uh, so, so she called me up, you know, this is the GM, not of all of Barney's because it's more than one. She called me up and she's like, look, Scott, go do your fucking internet thing, okay? Stop doing this. I'm like, well, because I'm, I'm scared about that. She's like, just go do your fucking internet thing and don't worry about it, okay? Just go off. You're making money, right? I'm like, yeah, you know, but I, I, I'm I, a little nervous. I don't want just, I didn't want to quit. She's like, Sky, go. You're fired, okay? Not in a mean way or nothing like that. You don't work here no more, okay? You only work once in the last fucking three months. Just go do the internet thing. And so I'm like... All right, thank you, you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? I won't tell you what her name is, but I was like, thank you, you know, okay, I, I'm gonna go, and you know? Because, I mean, they're cool with me. No one's angry at me or anything. I'm like, okay, thank you. So, so I freaking, I then went, and I started being a full-time influencer. Ladies and gentlemen, a fucking week later, that MCN, that newly found company, they were like, hey, we can't pay you all no more. We ain't making no money. <laughs> we was giving you all everything. So y'all got to sign a new deal with us where y'all don't get shit or we can fucking let y'all go. <laughs> so all of us got dumped, right? <laughs> and I got... <laughs> so now I don't have a job. And I ain't making no fucking money. And you two paying me like $200 a month. Holy fuck. Dude, this happened in a week. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I was with this, this MCN called Machinima. I think they still have a channel on Machinima, okay? Because that's like the first one. I mean, could, could they know how to freaking, you know, shut the shit down like... You know, before that call, so I gotta go back to work. <laughs> so, at that point, I had no fucking choice but to double down on influencing, dude. And that's when Tipsy Bartender really start to rock and roll because I had no fucking choice. And I kind of back in a similar situation right now. I mean, when, when I say kind of back in a similar situation, I. I could still make money from videos, like posting them on YouTube and Facebook and all that sort of stuff, right? The problem is though, with, with the bartending videos, every platform have a bunch of rules when it comes to alcohol. Because some people who've watched me for a long time will be like, well, Sky, your videos aren't as fun and as engaging as like when you had the girls and you're all doing crazy shit, you're all doing this and you're all doing that. And I'm thinking to myself, motherfucker, I can't do any of that shit. Y'all have never seen a video, dude. Because it's alcohol. Like they, some platforms don't want you to drink it. Some platforms, if you make a giant drink, that automatically flags. Some platforms, I mean, these dudes have lots of rules. So the way I, the way I decided to move forward is like this. I can stream every day. And over time, hopefully the stream grows. I get better. Figure out who I am as a streamer. You know, when I say stream, I'm talking like come in for like a couple hours, like a few hours, not just, you know, a quick video, a live video. But I mean, like really get into like, you know, doing like these longer videos and more, more almost like a TV show. Or, you know, I sit here. I mean, mostly I can be talking shit, but you, you understand what I mean. Do that. Right. And then if you have a membership behind that wall, then I could do stuff with like the tipsy girls. I can make 
monster drinks and how people actually like drink it and do stuff and pour stuff and freaking you know just make it more like what you expect a bar show to be but you can't do that on the regular youtube or the regular facebook you know what i mean you have to do that kind of behind a paywall with your fans which is why i encourage you if you guys want to support the show please become a member okay become a member you know support the show let's mix some shit Let's have some fun. And, and that's more relaxing for me. Because, I mean, I don't have to do that. But I don't have to sit there and be like, okay, I want to make this. But I can't make it this way because this site's going to complain. Can't make it this way because YouTube's going to complain. Can't make it over here because TikTok can complain. So let me let me make this. And then you end up with like a way watered down version of like what I originally had in mind. Whereas if I go behind a paywall, fucking I do what the fuck I want, you know? I mean, like... The members see it. It ain't on the general platform where they have to like, oh, we can't let his audience see this. This is this is not what we want, you know. Because then I end up making drinks for, I end up dr making drinks for like the algorithm, and th that's the fucking thing. It's almost like this algorithm is a fucking person, dog. Like like literally, we have guys out there who have to sit down because all these algorithms change over time, right? You have guys out there who have to sit down and study the algorithm and figure out okay like what kind of content should you be posting right now you see this especially on facebook because facebook is one of the most difficult platforms to work with there's a reason why so many influencers <laughs> gravitate towards youtube than try to produce content on facebook because facebook is a fucking monster to deal with but listen you know it's it's uh it's it's um it's, it's tough out there. It's tough out there. You know what I mean? It's tough out there. <laughs> it's tough out there. You know, but you, you got you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you, you got to do. Someone say, why he hates your style so much? It's not that they hate my style, right? It's just that alcohol, listen, alcohol is fucking dangerous, okay? Alcohol is some dangerous shit. It could cost you to crash your car, even if you drink even, you know, it costs you to crash a lot of people, you know, DUIs, the dude get drunk and beat his wife, you know, uh, all the health issues, alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is a fucking nightmare. So they try really carefully to make shit work. Look at this dude said, Facebook is so old. Hey, all, all the people on Facebook. Okay, we got Facebookers in here watching this, okay? Watch your mouth. Fa the Facebookers in here go, watch your mouth, girl. Watch your mouth. I can't see what they're saying because I ain't got access to Facebook right now. You know, Facebook's going through some weird shit. Like, every time I try to open the page, it's, there's an error. So, whatever, dude. Yeah, but but I'm just saying, like... But I can tell you right now, because some of you probably won't be influencers and get into it. Would Rumble be an alternative? Yeah, but see, I mean, that, here's another thing. You don't, when you, when you, have, you don't want to start from zero. You don't have to go start a brand new channel on a new platform. And, you know, but it, it, like, no, nah, you don't got to do that shit. Like, you, I, I, like I say, the easiest way for me to do is to do what I want to do behind, like, a paywall. You know, it's like my little private space. I do whatever the fuck I want to do. Like, like, shit. Like, on, on Monday, one of the girls coming over, we can make some crazy shit and have fun and then see how it is, you know? And, and and do stuff like that like just do more more fun stuff you know it might be less marketable on some of their sites for their ads i mean it'll be super marketable for them right but they can't put ads on them because a lot of young people on social media and that's the fucking issue like a lot of these young dudes who are on social media like way under age and so you gotta they gotta just be careful with that it's not that they dislike me it's just that alcohol in America, you're supposed to be 21, not even 18, like the rest of the world. So it just makes everything difficult, you know? But you don't cry, okay? Cry not, ye my people. You just fucking rock with it. You just roll with it. As the rules change, you just roll with it. You know how many different iterations of shows I've done? Dude, like, in the beginning, I mean, all kinds of shit, you know? But you, that's why, like, if you can do the social media thing, you got to be willing to change you can't fall in love with any single platform. You got to be like a fucking hoe. You got to be everywhere. Even if you don't like the platform, you kind of got to do it. Because the one that you do like might be like, you know what? I'm not sleeping with you anymore. I found someone else, okay? Okay? I'm not, I'm not going to be with you anymore, Sky. Okay? Okay? Because I'm Facebook and I don't want to be with you. Okay? 
I suggest you go to one of your little floozies. Okay, little bitch, I go to YouTube then. How about that, huh? Sky, you leave me for YouTube? After all the conversations we had? Yeah, okay, because you don't want to be with me. Facebook? Okay, Sky, well, I love you. Could you stay? Okay, you know what? Fuck you on YouTube. I'm going to TikTok. <laughs> you know, that's how it is in social media. So just be ready for that. <laughs> okay, that's... Someone's asking me. All right. When you make those jungle juices, who drinks all that liquor? <laughs> all kinds of people, man. <laughs> all kinds of people. But I can be honest, as the show got bigger, I had to become more careful. Because, all right, if I made a jungle juice, you know, I'm sure all of you might like well, have a sip, right? But the problem with that shit is, what happens after that sip? Like, let's say you have a couple sips. I give you a bottle of stuff and then you crash. Then that ties me in, like, and, you know, America's a very litigious place. There's a lot of lawsuits floating around, so you got to be careful. Like, you won't just give it all to your boys and your friends and shit like that, but you can't just do that, dude. You got to be careful because, you know, shit's going to be bad. So you just, you just got to be careful with that, you know? Have to be super, super, super careful, you know, just so you don't run into problems. She's saying, Sky, you sound like me and my people from Charleston, South Carolina. No, I'm from the Bahamas, actually. Y'all sound like y'all sound like this in, in Charleston? Really? <laughs> oh, someone's saying. Okay, I remember the bathtub drink. Did you ever get around to the jungle juice pool? No, I've not done a jungle juice pool yet. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. A jungle juice pool, ladies and gentlemen, a pool. Filled with jungle juice shit is gonna be fucking super, super expensive, okay? Exceptionally expensive, okay? Because it gotta be a pool that ain't hooked up to the engine because I can't have alcohol run to the fucking motor. That shit can burn up because alcohol is like fuel, okay? You, you have a machine running and you pour the right alcohol in there. That thing can go, oh, God, this feel good and burst into fucking flames, okay? <laughs> Tipsy. With all the videos you do, I guess he's saying with all the videos you do, you must party every day, right? I can't party every day because I got to be planning videos and shit. Especially with streaming, if you stay in here for hours at a time, dude, like you, you, you don't really got time to be going out partying hardcore. And I ain't really into the party scene. Like when you first come to LA, all right, you notice like, like all the TikTok people and stuff like that who move here. When you, come, when you first come to LA, like you're out every night. Like I can be honest, when I first moved to fucking LA, I've been to some wild shit, dude. I've been to some, you know, couple crazy parties. <laughs> I remember, I remember one night. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is a bartending story. <laughs> we had a bartender at Barney's Winery. I can call his name, but this dude was, he was like, he was a player, okay? Girls loved this motherfucker, okay? I even think he was that pretty boy, but he was just charismatic and he was cool and you know, and girls fucking loved him, okay? We had a manager there who was about 100 years old. She loved him. I hope she ain't watching this because she is not 100 years old, but I'm just saying she used to act like that sometimes. You know, she freaking loved him. Girls loved this fucking dude. And he would also, he was also like into drugs too, right? Not like heroin and shit. Like they'd have marijuana. Um, I guess cocaine. I ain't, you know, <clears throat> shit, shit like that. Um, this is me talking like cocaine is a, like an innocent drug. I've never done coke, but what I'm saying is, you know, he was he had, he had drugs as well. So he's a party dude with drugs, right? So if you rolled with him, but oh, hold on, at this time, I'm not drinking at all. Like right now, I drink like once a year. Back when this was going on, dude, I wasn't drinking at fucking all. So I'm the clean one in the group. I was the, I was the weird man out, right? It's way before, it's before Tipsy Bartender. Dude, and so he had connections on all the fucking parties. I remember he took me to this dude's house. The dude had money because the dude had a couple cars. He had a fancy, he had a fancy, um, he had a fancy like penthouse apartment kind of. And there's a hot tub on the roof. I remember that. But anyway, I get to this party, you know, because I'm I'm the bar back. I'm not even a bartender yet. I get I get, we get to the party, right? And he's there with me, a couple other bartenders, some dudes from the bar. 
uh, some girls because you know like you travel multiple cars all falling each other head in a party that's how you do it in LA like if you ever watch swingers that shit's still real you know now this might be more uber but er you know everybody following everybody so we get to this fucking party right <laughs> ghost is saying skies ghost just said skies sky snitching <laughs> I can't post these YouTube comments because the, 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 the emojis ain't working. Anyway, so we get... Guys, if you post a comment on YouTube, don't use emojis because the emojis, for some reason, ain't working. Except the faces. Anyway, so we get to the party, right? And freaking... I remember... I'm in the kitchen with him and his boys and a couple girls. And these girls at the party start comparing fake breasts. Like, whose fake breasts look better? Like, they just, like, compare. Like, look at the... Hold on. I'm talking like they're taking them out, you know? Look at this. What do you think? Oh, that's a great job. Hold on, but it wasn't... Guys, the crazy thing is, it wasn't fucking, like, sexual like that. This is how weird LA is. It wasn't like, oh, my God, this girl's showing her boobs. I want to grab these beautiful juggernauts and squeeze them. I want to, you know? It wasn't like that. It was like everybody at the party standing around, these girls, like, Whipping out their boobs and being like, oh, yeah. And then and then a, another girl going like, oh, yeah, man, that's great. Look how real they look. How did he go? Did he go through your navel or was it through? Oh, what did he have to remove? Oh, yeah, look at mine. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck is this? Okay. You know, I've been in America like about two years, you know. <laughs> but I was, I was at community college. They wasn't doing this shit at a community college. I'm sitting there going, what the fuck? What, what the hell is going What kind of world is this when he's doing shit like this? You know, that's that's like an L.A. party, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying all parties like that. I'm just saying this particular fucking guy, the places he take you is just get fucking wild, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> then he took me, I remember I got with him to another party, dude. And and this, this shit was also wild. It, you know, it was residential neighborhood, okay? Um... There was like a business on the street, but it was, more, it was more in a residential neighborhood, right? And the building looked like it was under fucking construction because it had a bunch of tarp and shit over the windows and all that sort of stuff. And and I could, you could hear like the faint sound of music, you know? I'm like, what the fuck is that? Okay? Dude, a door open, huge fucking party. Okay. But it's a fucking dry party. So, so it's about... I'd say about 60% of the people at this party are guys in dresses. This 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 was like before trans was as big as it is now. So I'm not even sure these guys were trans. They were more just like in drag partying. And there were there was I say 60% of guys in drag, and then the other 40% is a mixture of like, I'd say 30% girls, 10% like straight guys, like 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 we were, right? I do it. Like, I mean, but no one give a shit. Cause you don't care about them, they don't care about you. And everybody in there just jamming, dude. Like jumping up. I mean, like, just wild shit like that. Like LA is one of them places where you go, what the fuck? But, but this is a disclaimer before you jump on a plane, because that's your kind of shit and you fly out. It's who you fucking know. You gotta know someone to get in them kind of parties. Cause I would never like the people on that street probably don't know that shit's there, okay? <laughs> Cause that's one of them kind of parties where, you know, <laughs> Blue Crusoe love in the house. That's one of those kind of parties where people they come and they go, you know what I mean? I mean it's, they move. Like they use that building now, but in time. They can put the building somewhere else. Like, you know, that's 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 like the LA life, dude. Just wild shit. <laughs> and and I, I was just I was just like the bartender bar back dude. Like some of the parties like famous dudes go to? Holy shit. I could I could only fucking imagine the sick shit these do. Cause I remember I remember a couple of years back, right? I guess they probably got in trouble because I think they stopped. Okay. The alcohol cutoff time in LA is 2 a.m., right? And some dude on the party scene was like, man, fuck that shit. So this dude sat down with lawyers, okay? And what he did was he created this private membership club. I forgot what it was called, man. But I remember me and my boy went to it because my boy, my boy was on a TV show, right? I mean, he had a, he had a little sway. <clears throat> What a lot of sway. When you like, it wasn't like a huge star, or nothing like that. But but if y'all saw him, y'all know him, right? He was on a TV show, and you know he loved to go out. You know, 
not not like he wasn't like a party animal with like drugs and shit like the, like the other guy I was telling you about. But this dude loved to go out, right? So he he would, you know, he, all, he whenever something new popped up, he'd always freaking be first in line for it. So 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 we're sitting there, and I'm like, we're sitting there, right? And I'm like, ah, uh, he's like, dude, yeah, this this dude start this company where you pay a membership fee, and the membership fee wasn't exactly fucking cheap. It was kind of expensive, right? Where you pay this membership fee. And then you go into your private club. Therefore, the alcohol being served is free because you already pay for it with the club. It was some fucking crazy shit like that, right? <laughs> so you could drink after two, okay? So for a while, this club was going strong, but I think the city was like, man, fuck you all. Okay, let's shut this shit down. <laughs> You know, let's shut this shit down. Yeah, but those were those were those were the, those were the good days. You know what I mean? <laughs> Will you ever build the vlogs back up? I don't go on as much as I used to, but all the old vlogs, I I'm, I am. Um, we, we're working on those to get those posted. You know, in in the membership circle too. All all the old Tipsy Girl videos, and all the all the vlogs, we can get them posted in there too. If I if I if I travel, if I you know if I'm out doing something. I could kind of blog it, you know what I mean? So that's where that's where this video came in. Cause like last night was my boy's birthday. So I was just in Hollywood. Let me show you. This is the most LA shit ever. This is the most LA shit ever. Walk into a party on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't see anyone I recognize. Anyone any of these names I recognize? This this way down Hollywood. So, oh, there he is. That's the birthday boy. Hey, what's up? Happy birthday. I'm getting him hey, two bottles hey, of booze. Oh, damn. Two bottles of booze. Okay. Yeah, the colorful booze, though. Colorful booze. <laughs> this is 24 karat gold bottles right here. I'm sponsored by AU. Like, I do stuff with them. I mean, this isn't part of that shit, though. I just... They give me free stuff, so I give it to him. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. Thank you. These are some fancy bottles. I didn't know they made bottles like these. Yeah, I like the bottles. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know how we got on that video, but whatever. Okay. Whatever. Are you traveling to Mexico? Dude, I've been to Mexico. Dude. <clears throat> I did Mex I did videos in Mexico. Y'all you know that? Dog. So everything you could think of with Tipsy Bartender, I have fucking done before. Let me tell you. I hire a girl to work here with me who is a Spanish speaker. Okay? Then we search YouTube to see who's Spanish speaking living in fucking Mexico. Then we reach out to them. And then we found two people in Mexicali, which is the border with California. Red a car, okay? Pack up all my cameras and all that shit. Drove to fucking Mexico and made some tipsy bartender videos with them in fucking Spanish. I had them lead it though. They 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 made the drinks talk. <laughs> Your boy, your boy's done every, your boy's done everything, man. Like I've, I've done some shit. <laughs> Do you still go with Emma or the other girls? Emma lives with me, so I can put it that way. <laughs> but I see the other girls sometime. You know, I saw Natalie last night. Natalie was at, Natalie was at a, at the at the bar last night. Natalie was one of the girls. She she did some videos later on with me. I think of, I think her, her stuff's on my story, you know. But I was at the bar last night, and hold on, let me let me let me find that video for y'all. Let me just make sure there's <laughs> no music in it. Yeah, but Natalie was at the bar last night, and so I, I I was watching her sing. Let me see. Okay, there we go. That's her. I'm coming right now. Let me let me play this video for y'all. Okay, there she is. Yeah, right here. Okay, let me airdrop this. Yeah, but but this so this this is a this an old tipsy girl. Not not that not that old though. When I say old, she she did tipsy bartender a couple times. She went find her. Okay, let me make sure I turn the movie level down so I don't get in trouble posting this fucking video. Because it's probably, oops, not that one. 
coming right now, homeboy. Let me get this right for you. Okay. All right. So this 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 was this was me and Natalie last night. She's a tipsy girl. She what did, what did she make with me? Natalie made a couple of things. That's her friend Bailey or Haley. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So that's at the Naughty Pig last night from my IG, you know, <clears throat> fun times, fun times. So yeah, I, I do see some, I do see some of them, you know what I mean? I don't know how many of y'all remember her, but she, she's from, you know, she's from back in the day. You know, she's from way back in the day. Yeah, my girl Natalie. Okay, back to y'all now, back to y'all. Following you from down under. Can you please have the top 100 cocktails and 100 shots all in one place, please? Dude, that's so fucking hard to do. What's the top 100 cocktails and the top 100 shots? Because that's really subjective, depending on like your taste and like what you're looking for. And then like obviously, I I frequent the sweeter realm of things. Like most of the tipsy bartender stuff tends to be on the on the sweeter side. You know what I mean? That's 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 kind of like how I roll. We're on the sweeter side of stuff, but it's it's uh it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> you know. It's all good. Hello from Brazil. What's up, Brazil? Are you into music? Okay. Are you into music? Who are your top five singers? Yeah, I'm into music. There is no top five singers. I just like shit that I hear. Like, like okay, like I, pu I published this list. I published the list of the top streaming music, right? Like, last night we let the liquor talk. Yeah, like, that shit's a fucking solid song. That's country, dude. That should just kill. That's the number one song, 2023. And then Flowers by Molly Cyrus. That's also dope. Kill Bill by SZA. That's also dope. You know what I mean? Like, all these. The other day I was listening to Taylor Swift. That's cool shit. Creeping number nine. I love that as well. Creeping. <laughs> That's a remake of an old song, though. That, that, like, you know what I mean? Like, I listen to everything, man. It's all good. Dude, SZA got two songs in there in the top, in the top, in the top 10 of 2023. That's that's pretty dope. Drake has one. It's dope, man. But he's hold on, where's where where's my shit? Okay, let me see. Okay, are you into music? Yes, I am. Are you into music? I love jazz and love songs. Okay, all right, homeboy. I could sing to you. Ren, you and me. Just laying in the pen. Oh, and I'm holding you, looking at you because you're a 10. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm a, I'm a lover. It's in me, my it's in me, my boy. Taylor Swift is so huge right now. I like him too. Taylor Swift is like, what the fuck? That Eras tour was some insane shit. And I was traveling around that time. Everywhere I went, Taylor Swift was doing. Like, we, we went to, I was in. Seattle, she had a tour there. I mean, like, she, like everywhere I went this year, she had something coming through, and all the girls coming out, all the Swifties and their makeup and shit, dude. Like that, Taylor Swift is the shit. She made a tour. Her tour generated something like a billion dollars, which is my understanding. It's fucking huge, dude. That the woman is. That woman's a boss. Okay, Taylor Swift is a boss. She is definitely yeah. She is a billionaire now. You know, Brayden was like, she's a billionaire. Now. Yeah, she's she's a she's a legit billionaire now off her Eras tour. And the thing with her is like at this particular point now, she in that Beyonce category. You know what I mean? Like Beyonce, you know, is like a queen, the diva, but Taylor Swift have to be right there. And to think back in the day, Kanye West stepping on stage going, I'ma let you <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce is the greatest ever. Y'all remember that shit? <laughs> You know, and I'm here thinking, like, when that happened, I'm like, dude, Taylor Swift, no one's going to remember her next week. Holy fuck was I wrong. She got more money than Kanye now. You know, Kanye was a rich dude, but but uh, he, he uh, you know, he, he lost it all. <laughs> yeah, anti-hero is too. <laughs> Slotty Bob Foster. <laughs> anti-hero anti -hero was, was, was dope, man. She she is she is fucking killing it, and then everything she does just helps out. Like the whole thing with Kansas City and, and her boyfriend, that also helps out. And you know, and when they break up, she fucking write a song, but it's that you know, you know, 
See, that's the thing with dating a woman who's a fucking musician, dog. Because they will write a song about your ass. And ain't shit you could do. It ain't like you could stop the football game. Go, hey, hey, everybody, sorry. Time out. I just like to dress something that Taylor wrote in a song, you know. That shit she said about me was not true, okay. I was not sleeping with someone else, okay. I slept with someone else, but it wasn't until after we broke up, okay. Yes, we did break up that night. Like, later that night, I did sleep with someone. Yes, I... I was talking to the girl, before, yeah, but the point is, I did not have sex with them before we broke up, okay? It was five minutes after we broke up. Be some shit like that, you know what I mean? You can't fuck with Taylor Swift, them do it. Like, she would write a song about your ass. Would you listen to, Fort, would you listen to Fortnite Christmas music? <laughs> what? Dude, I just, I just downloaded the new Fortnite. So when I'm finished with this stream, I'm going in there to play some shit, you know what I mean? Just to, just to see what's up. I'm, I'm going to go in there and, and play some shit. Just to, just, to, just to get it right, you know? Just, just to test it out and, 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 and just to see, what, see what's going on, you know? But it's, it's, it, should, it should be a good time. It should be a good time. <laughs> see, Tipsy so funny. Thank you, thank you, the ghost of Nicholas Doucet. Thank you, I appreciate that. Sky. Google says Beyonce's net worth, 540 million. Taylor Swift is 1 billion with a B. Yeah, 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 money-wise. Money, yeah, dude. I mean, Taylor, Taylor just been fucking smart, dude. She's, she's amazing, man. Look at Pamela in here say, I love the holiday season because I love eggnog. What are your favorite eggnog drinks? Pam, there are, there are a lot of them. There are a lot of, there are a lot of great eggnog drinks. But going back to Iron Fan, you know, I say bouncing between the two of them. Yeah, I do it. Like Taylor Swift is no joke. So, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen watching this, if you do have a chance to date her, please do. Okay, you get a song right, but written about your ass. But you know, the two or three months that you spend with her would should be pretty good, pretty lavish. All right, because <laughs> it ain't gonna last long. What are some great eggnog drinks? Okay, <clears throat> there's all kinds of eggnog drinks. Eggnog is creamy, okay? So you could mix it with creamy shit. So think of the eggnog being like Bailey's almost, even though there's no alcohol in it, right? So let's say vodka, Kahlua, eggnog, okay? That's almost like a eggnog white Russian, so to speak. Then you could freaking have eggnog and rum, which was called a saucy nog. I see people do that with Bacardi 51. I see eggnog and Jägermeister. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you haven't had a bowel movement recently, I suggest you give that one a try because if it doesn't work out, oh boy, you know what I mean? At least you know that it's clearing your system, okay? You're no longer constipated. But um, you, could mix, you could mix eggnog with a lot of stuff. Eggnog and vodka would be a very easy one. But, but if the holiday season, holiday season, eggnog and brandy is probably a best mix right there. Just pour a little bit of brandy in a glass, a little cognac, and hit that with some eggnog, good to go, good to go. You know what I mean? Eggnog and Hennessy, but this is what I'm saying. Hennessy is a cognac, a cognac is a brandy, okay? So that's that's what I'm talking about. Eggnog and Hennessy, great to go, great to go. Lots of people from the Indian diaspora here, Trinidad, Guyana, Mauritius, very cool, very cool. Hey, Guyana, you all better watch this, a Guyana? Which one, which one of these countries Venezuela trying to invade? It's Guyana, right? <laughs> Venezuela's voting <laughs> on should they invade their neighbor. Jesus. Sky, you ever want to play some Call of Duty? Zombies? Just let me know. Way more fun than Fortnite. I I mean, I, I, play, I play a little bit of for, a Call of Duty, but wasn't re I really invested in it. Fortnite is just a quick, easy game. I go fuck with Fortnite for, you know, like, what, 30 minutes? jump back on the computer because the thing with be doing this influencer shit you always got to be fucking online like i know influencers like a lot of them make their lives seem super exciting but dude like you have to spend so much time on the computer it 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 ain't even fucking funny it's it's just like damn okay guys let's talk about something else okay <clears throat> check this out so this right here is this ai model the story been going around a lot okay a Spanish team put this together. So this AI model, and right now she's making about $10,000 a month. She does not fucking exist. If you look at the bottom of the picture, they say, 
Atana, 25, a pink-haired woman from Barcelona, receives weekly private messages from celebrities asking her out. But this model is not real. Okay? This model is not freaking real. But she is cute, you know? <laughs> so, going back to the beginning of this stream, <laughs> some simps are sending her a ton of money. <laughs> some simps are sending her a ton of money, dog. A ton of money. But guys, 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 this is the fucking future because right now, okay, this girl is AI. She does not exist. But within the next 20 to 30 years, okay, you will probably be able to create some kind of replica like this. Maybe not even that long. It could be a whole lot faster. Who knows the way tech, tech moving. And you will be able to create an artificial woman, artificial man, like whatever you want with the personality that matches yours. Who is looking forward to that? Who is looking forward to that? Oh, right here. There's one of my followers. Thank you. Thank you. That's the devil. Boy, boy 83. What's the devil face mean, dude? Boy, that little, that little symbol, that little yellow symbol tells you that the person's a member, guys. Yeah, okay, but I'm saying, who's looking forward to that? <laughs> who's looking forward, you know, <laughs> to having your AI freaking wife or girlfriend? And I'm not talking online, homeboy. I'm talking sitting freaking next to you. It's going to be like that, okay? Are you looking forward to that shit? I am. I'll remake Taylor Swift. Dude, that's... So, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, listen, guys have no idea what's coming. Like, this this future is about to be wild. Firstly, none of us can have jobs because you can have some artificial influencer that's super fucking entertaining. It's, a, you know, amazing, but you ain't gonna know that the person fake. <laughs> you know? And then you can be sitting next to your fake husband or your fake boyfriend, Okay. That's super sexy, that giving you massages, doing the dishes, changing the car, a tar tar. I mean, like, dude, it's gonna be freaking insane. Are y'all ready for that world? <laughs> dude, you wanna become a bartender after seeing my videos? Just go, go freaking. Yeah, like, like Brand Runner. That's what I'm talking about. I come to that comment right now. Guys, just go, go, become a member on Tipsy Bartender. It's three bucks, okay? Behind that wall, we have my bartending course. Just go check it out. Go check it out, all right? If you follow that course, you will be a bartender, my child. <laughs> Sally Forth, I see you. I can hit you up soon. Just, just, dude, just go behind that, that wall. It, I mean, and, and we got all your stuff. But this is, this is, this is, um, this is, are you all ready for that? Some said I was glad I was born in the early 2000s. If you bought in the early 2000s, okay, hold on. If you bought in the early 2000s, the oldest you are is 20 fucking three, okay? The most this would take is 30 years, if even that long. So you can definitely be here when this shit shows up, okay? S skinny little ape, I don't know what sex you are. So expect, expect, to, expect to have an artificial level. <laughs> are you even real tipsy? I am now, but I can tell you right now, if I could get an AI to do this, like be super fucking entertaining, engaging, fuck yeah, I'd put him here, okay? Okay, but look for it, look for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, that, but listen, listen, okay, here's, here's what I know, real shit. Here's what I know, real shit. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all these, there's all these social media platforms were created to make money, full stop. Not to be, you know, a platform where I could come and make videos for me to make money. It's for them to make money. So the minute we get to a point where they could switch shit out and get fake people in instead of real people, fake people that they own, like legitly fucking own, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's done, okay? It's done, okay? Be no more Mr. Beast and be Mr. Yeast, okay? And you be like, man, this guy, you know, he's so much better than Mr. Beast, but there's just something a little off him. That's right, because the motherfucker ain't going to be real, okay? <laughs> we can get there. <laughs>
We are going to get there together. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Fluffy, I, I see that. Okay. Sky, if you were a bourbon cocktail, okay, if bourbon cocktail, how would you be mixed? <laughs> okay, all right. Guys, feel free to ask me questions about drinks if you want. Let me explain something. Okay. Bourbon, Campari, Sweet Vermouth. That's a Boulevardier. Now I can modify it a little bit, little bit and move the Campari and maybe put an Aperol. I go back and forth between the two of those. They're both bitter, right? But just equal parts of that. And put that with ice. You stir, the, stir those three together. You don't want to shake it. You want to stir it, okay? Because this is a more mature drink. This isn't James Bond. You want to stir that together nice and smooth. And then get your nice cocktail glass with your nice clear ice cube and then you want to pour that mix in right and then after you pour that in you want freaking should i show you all this do i mix any anyway, i don't want, i don't know if i have a video mix, mix that after you pour it in you hit that with a little orange squeeze bang super delicious it's an acquired taste though it's an acquired taste i gave sally forth one of them and she's like Ugh! <laughs> Someone say, what's she doing to make money? She's talking about the AI model that I just had on the screen. Um, I don't know exactly. They have a, maybe in different ads, but I also think they do have a, I think they also do have probably an OnlyFans account for or some shit like that. <laughs> Dude, today, okay, you all see me buying AI photos on OnlyFans. Could one of you please reach for this computer screen and bitch slap me and stop me from simping like that, okay? <laughs> Tell you that simping word was going to come back up. I had to teach you what it meant. <laughs> Someone say drinking Campari alone. Yeah, you could drink Campari alone. It is bitter though. It is bitter. It's, you know, <laughs> it is bitter. Tipsy bartender, if you were liquor, liquor, or liquor, where would you be? I'd be blue. I could see you'd be blue crusoe. I'd use blue crusoe a lot. I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know what I would be, dude. That's a that's a difficult question. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Look at my boy here. Thank you for the four ninety nine. Thank you for the four ninety nine, my boy, Mister Win. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Thank you for supporting the show, man. Every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. It goes towards booze. Much appreciative. Okay. Okay. Let me let me let me answer a question from, from, from one of my boys, all right? Let me answer this question. Okay. So his question was along the lines of what did I Okay. This wasn't a question per se, but he was like, okay, Michael, Michael Watson, he comes through the chat every now and again. He was like, do it. Like you should open a bar in Pennsylvania, right? All right. Let me tell you all how bars work because it is fucking complicated, okay? Now, so you and I decide we want to start a bar, right? Okay. First, we have to find a place to do this, all right? This, 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 this step number one, you got to find a place to do it, all right? So that means you either buy a building or you got to rent some place. All right. Now, here's the danger with. OK, here, here's 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 the thing. The 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 pros of buying a place is that you own it. OK, it's yours. No one could come in and fuck with you because you own the place. The problem with buying the place, though, is that costs a lot more money than renting the place. OK. Here's the issue with renting the place. If you rent the place, it's typically a lot cheaper than buying the place. However, in a place like LA, okay, these dudes here know real estate and they some certified assholes. So what's going to happen when you rent your bar in LA? The dude's going to give you like a five-year lease, okay? The dude's going to give you like a five-year lease and then after that, that five years up after you didn't spend all your time building the bar out, you can come back and be like, okay, your rent was five thousand, now it's ten. Or your rent was five and now it's twenty-five. Like they do shit like that. Like I can get the best example. The best example of this is Vanderpump Rules. How many of you watched that show, Vanderpump Rules? Vanderpump Rules had their bar 
their flagship bar on Santa Monica Boulevard right here in Los Angeles. They're in the city of West Hollywood on the corner of Robertson and Santa Monica. Okay, I think their rent at the time when they got the bar might have been, I don't know, their rent was probably like 20 grand, 27,000, I don't know. The dude who owned the building was like, hey, you want my bar? You need to give me 80 grand. This dude increased the rent. <laughs> By 400%. <laughs> Who does shit like that? 80 grand. Naturally, she's like, dude, I can't pay 80 grand. I mean, she's rich, I'm sure, but she's like, I can't, I can't, pay, I can't pay that, right? So, <laughs> so she left, you know, she's like, well, I'm not doing this. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, that dude's probably a great loss. He shouldn't have charged that much. Maybe he should have done 30 instead of 80. Dude. LA dudes don't fucking care. They know real estate because he knows now the next dude is going to come in and pay him. Firstly, he gets to take everything that they leave behind in the bar because remember they build this out. So all that's his now. Um, he can re-rent it to someone else for a ton of money. Not 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 80, but it's going to be fucking high because some jackass is going to come in there and be like, oh, this is where Vanderpump Rules was. I want this building. So he he's still cashing in. He does not care. They legitimately do not care for doubling and tripling your rent. So you got to be prepared for that. We're talking about how to start the bar. Okay. After you move on from there, now you got to work on getting your liquor license, okay? Because the license might not have come with the bar. That's another bunch of complication with the city. You also got to get all the plans set up to get it approved by the city and you go back and forth. You can do this, you can do that, you can do the next. Then you got to get your construction guys to come in and fucking, you know, plan you gotta find the right construction guy plan this out we can do this we can do that buy all the stuff do it it's a process okay from the time you let's just say this is all you're doing you have the money and everything from the time you get the building to the time the bar opens at minimum is at least a year okay the one in nashville that we're doing in nashville took a lot long it's taking longer than that because um we we're doing like some other stuff you know but um it's it's gonna it's it just all these take time and there's still like a lot of shit that i leave out because i don't do with this aspect of the bar i just watch my friends and business partners go through it because they're more experienced in that field it's fucking intense and then you know i mean depending okay you gotta look at this okay depending on who you're getting this bar from and what kind of deal you have, because they're different deals. I ain't going into the inner work into that because that's a secret society. So I ain't trying to give them any trade secrets, but I'll tell you this. Okay, check this out. So the dude rents you the bar on January 1st, 2024, right? Uh, 20 grand a month, okay? <laughs> so you paying rent this entire time. Okay, for a bar that ain't even in existence. Okay, that's $240,000 in rent for a bar that is not open. Now, how, how much you paid during that period when you're not open varies depending on the deals you have. Because, you know, there, there are ways around that for some people. But let's just say you inexperienced opening a bar. Do it before the bar even fucking open. You already broke. You know what I mean? For the regular person. So you gotta you gotta really know how to fucking handle this shit when you open a bar. Because it's not simply straightforward. I open a bar, people come in, I make money. There's a lot of rules, conditions, stuff. There's all, all kinds of shit go into it, you know? It's, it's one of those things. Anyway, let me not bore you with opening a bar. <laughs> I'm from Nassau, homeboy. Nassau, Bahamas. That's the part of the Bahamas I'm from. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 um, they always, yeah, they always raise rent. I think there was a popular place in New York called Popular, um, music, performance place in New York, and a lot of rock bands used to perform. I used to see people in the shirts. They still have vintage shirts of it, CBMF or some CB, CBG. I can't remember what it was, but that was their problem. The rent went up insanely fucking high, and a landlord could do that. You can't be like, oh no, you know. This is a rent control building. My rent was twenty thousand. You could only raise it to twenty one thousand. They don't do that shit to businesses. Do it, businesses. So you get sought. <laughs> That's why in LA, you know, you see shit here and it doesn't last long. You know, you see this build. You see this particular 
bar here and then next week it's closed you know that, that's that's why like you really got to know what you're doing and not just jump in assuming that you go you make money do you still have that gold trump trump bottle of trump vodka yes yes i do have that that's one of my most valuable bottles dude that bottle like i don't know how much is a bottle of a handle of trump vodka right now and i got that on a fluke you know what i mean i wasn't like a fan of trump or anything he was just running for president I was like, okay, since he's running for president, let's just get a bottle of his vodka and we could just hold it up on the show. You know what I mean? Because no one thought he, I didn't think he was going to win. You know what I mean? I, I, towards the end, I kind of figured like Hillary Clinton was slipping a little bit, so I figured he was going to win. But it wasn't like I was like a fan of Trump or anything like that. I'm neutral in all this, okay? I'm neutral in all this, old boy. I ain't picking sides in this shit. I'm the bartender. But then the dude won, and right then the value of the vodka bottle started skyrocketing. Actually, it started skyrocketing the minute he announced he was running, you know? So, a, a lot of people bought bottles. I wonder what a bottle of Trump vodka would cost right now. Let me Google that, okay? Let's check this out. Okay. Handle of Trump vodka. I see one here for $2,000. Shit, I see one. I see, oh, <laughs> Keg and Ball is this website. They have a bottle of it for six thousand dollars. What? Yeah. Holy shit! Hold on. Let me let me show you all this. They have a bottle of this for six thousand. Where'd that clip go? You know they got a. Let me find my desktop right here. Check this out, dude. So this 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 a uh, this a uh, this one for six grand, six G's. But here's the thing, okay? I mean, firstly, I don't know that anyone's gonna pay that for that. Here's the thing, though. This one is seven hundred and fifty. I have a handle. Ha! I don't know. But I mean, who knows? That could just be some bullshit price, though. You know, that could just, that's, that could just be some bullshit price. Who who the fuck knows? But I know, I know it's gonna be a couple grand because he got fans, and that's that's what you do. Like if, you know, with, with someone like Trump, if you could find like old shit, like Trump, don't buy a Trump steak because <laughs> that shit wasn't good <laughs> when it was fresh. <laughs> but if you could get some Trump water or Trump soap or Trump some bullshit that he used to sell, it's gonna have value over time. Not because you like him or anything like that, but you know, like. He ain't gonna live forever, you know. Leave it with your kids, and it's gonna gain value over time. All right. <laughs> Someone says there's one for eight thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, that is just because they listen for eight grand doesn't mean someone's gonna pay for it. You know what I mean? Like, and do it. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta figure out who you can get it from, and do you trust the person? So check this out. Here's what I do. Okay, so I. So back in the day, when Tesla tequila first came out, I wanted a bottle of Tesla tequila, right? Let me show you all Tesla tequila. I wanted a bottle of Tesla tequila. And because, you know, they only make a few of them at a time. They didn't they been through, they've, they've been through a variety of them now. You know, they, they only make a few of them at a time. So, you know, it makes it a little difficult to get, you know? Let me show you all this, Tesla tequila. Okay. Where's my Tesla tequila? Okay. Where is this? Where is this? One second. Last night we let the liquor talk. Okay. So check this out. Okay. So this right here is Tesla tequila. All right. And when they first came out, like Elon must have made like 200 bottles of the shit. Is it like a great tequila? Uh, I, I've never tasted it. I don't know. Because most people don't open it. You just keep it, you know? And so they went quickly. So you have to rebuy it from someone. So if you buy it from Tesla, it's probably like $200, $250 or some shit like that. But then you got to buy it on the open market. That's where stuff starts getting expensive, you know? That's not funny. He says, I love the Young Turks. Say, okay, all right. Congrats on that. Anyway. So freaking, <laughs> I wanted to buy a bottle, okay? So when I buy and shit, 
Like, I always hear about y'all getting robbed and stuff, buying, you know, video games and shit from dudes pulling up at their house. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing going to someone's house to buy something in these online marketplaces? You know, these dudes I'm eating on eBay and... And what's the Facebook marketplace and shit like that? Dude, I'm not fucking coming to your house to meet you. That You asking to get robbed. So what I have dudes do is meet me at the mall in Barnes & Noble, but not on the bottom floor. You meet me on the fucking top floor <laughs> where a ton of people are to make sure, because the Barnes & Noble here in LA is three floors, okay? <laughs> to make sure you got to go all the fucking way down. And then get out of the ball, you know what I mean? So yeah, you could rob me, but it ain't gonna be fucking easy, dog. So I, I bring you where a ton of people are. Okay, then you pay me for, you know, you pay me, I pay you, you give me the shit and, and we're done. Because usually I'm not selling stuff, I'm buying stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm the buyer, you know? That's that's what you do. Meet someplace public like that. Not in, uh, not like, not in the mall, in the marketplace where everybody sitting around eating and, you know, a bunch of shit going on. Take them deep in a fucking store that's a maze that takes time to get out. So when you sound alarm, oh my God, you know, uh, the security, the security could come jump in. I know that looked like, uh, but the dude, the dude I bought my Tesla tequila from, I mean, he was, he, he was, you know, like I, I searched him, looked him up, knew what he did and all that sort of stuff, you know? Thank you, Richie. I appreciate the support, homeboy. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the support, my, my good friend, Richie. <laughs> Fun times, man. Someone say Craig's list heights. Yeah, dude. So many dudes get fucking robbed selling shit. Like, you know, you selling sneakers and you put up at a dude's house. What the fuck? Bring your ass to a busy ass place that you can't get out. Don't risk your life selling no fucking video game or crazy shit like that. What's the most? Okay, Mike, Mike, <laughs> Michael said, what's the most expensive bond I've ever bought? Uh, probably, um, I haven't, I haven't, I've not personally purchased anything that was super expensive, but I was gifted, I was gifted a Louis XIII, and that bottle is like five grand, okay? Actually, speaking of Louis XIII, this is the stopper for the bottle. This is, this is crystal, okay? So this is crystal. So what happened though is... This is a little crack right here on it, right? Like, I, I mean, this camera can't get in that close. There's a little crack on it. I'm trying to show you all. There's a crack on it, but this, this, this is a crystal top on this, okay? It's genuine crystal. But the way they pack the bottle is when you open the box, sometimes this drop out. So this cracked when we opened the box. Uh, we, call, we, call, we call the company and um, they sent us they sent us a new one, so I got this one. But like I say, this was this was broken. Yeah, so I got I got a new one, and it's it's all good. It's all good, you know. It's all good. Yeah, Louis the Third. I ain't gonna never fucking drink that though. I mean, like, why why would I be drinking a five thousand dollar bottle of some shit? Well, it, <laughs> I wanted to go up in value so I could sell it back to someone, but I I don't think that's gonna happen. Over time, the value will increase. We'll see, you know. And I I keep it in the box. Do you have something that's good for Filipino taste? Yes, yes. It's called Balu, okay? Balu. You all know what that is? Oh, boy. Mr. Filipino. How, you, how dare you ask me something like that? <laughs> okay. I got to show you what this shit is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this... It's from the Philippines. It's a delicacy. They all freaking know it. Okay. Let me let me, let me let me just find a better picture of it. It's called Balu. Anyone knows what that is? If you know it, I haven't been. I have not been to the Philippines. I've been I've been to the airport in Manila, but I have not actually like. I've not actually like visited the Philippines directly. But I got some shit on the Philippines to show you all, dog. This one is fucking wild. And I know street vendors sell this because I've seen multiple fucking examples of it. And I think Timothy De La Ghetto, my boy, oh, he's an old school YouTuber as well from back in the day. He actually freaking ate it, I believe. Okay. All right, guys. 
What y'all think that is? Okay. So you take, I think it's a chicken egg. I'm not sure is it, if, if, it's, if it's a chicken, but I think it's a chicken egg. Hold on, hold on. let me get you a better picture. Okay, here it goes. This is, this is a better picture. Yeah. Okay, guys. Someone going, it's gross. Yes. Okay, guys. So you take the chicken egg, right? I think it's a chicken. It might not be a chicken. It might be another bird. And you let the bird begin to develop, okay? And, you know, some of them even have, have like hair and shit on it, okay? <laughs> this is my boy, Filipino born and raised never. No, I, listen, I ain't knocking it. In the Bahamas, we eat conk. And I showed conk yesterday and people were freaking the fuck out, okay? And they sell this on the street and then you would eat that. That's the piece you eat. How the fuck does that taste good? Where's the seasoning on that shit? How, what, 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 how does that taste good? You know how drunk, oh, it's a duck. It's a duck. <laughs> so, look, uh, hey, hey, me, uh, hey, Mia, uh, Mia says it looks like her brother. <laughs> Sam's, Sam says it's a duck. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a duck. <laughs> Hey, hey, you weren't supposed to notice that I was burping, dude. What are you talking about? Okay? Yes, I did mute the mic to burp. Stop fucking paying attention, okay? Chris, 25, 5N, okay? What's wrong with you? Huh? Stop noticing shit like that. Wait till I mute it to fart, okay? You, you're not going to you're you're not, you're not see my mouth move, but you can see the wind, like, you can see the fire come out the back, okay? So when you look behind me, you can see the fire come out the back. Baloo. <laughs> Baloo. <laughs> oh, 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 you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> this is Baloo. So he's saying he ate Baloo. <laughs> I could stop shitting for a month after. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. I'm in freaking Thailand, okay? Thailand have this entire... Th I've been to Thailand. How many times have I been to Thailand? I've been to Thailand three three times. Twice for myself, once with Emma. Okay, my last trip was with Emma. But this was this was my... This is my maybe second trip in Thailand, right? Okay. On Koh San Road. Koh San Road is this, this street in Thailand where like all the parties happening, you know? I mean, not all the parties happening, but all the backpackers and tourists hang out there you know in in thailand it's i'm looking for a picture of it so i could kind of show you all to it kosan road yes okay in thailand images you know and um it's this street in thailand dude like it's just where everybody goes and it's freaking wild i mean I, 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 I fucking love it this is this is kosan road is my spot you know <clears throat> let me show you let me, let me show you this one. Okay, so this right here. Okay, Kosan Road. Where'd that picture go? Let me get rid of Mr. Balu. Okay. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Kosan Road in Thailand. Okay? Infamous Backpacker Street. Yes, they, that's what they call it. Infamous Backpacker Street. Like all the backpackers hang out here. Okay, because this this the spot that you go to. This like this like Backpacker Central. If you're in Bangkok, the headquarters is Kosan fucking Road. So everybody, I mean, there are other tourists here, but a lot of backpackers in that crew, right? And so on this street, they sell all kinds of shit. You have the girls, you have you have the girls, um, the women, not only women, men too, serving like pad thai at these, you know, like how. In California, they have the little stands, you know, like the, 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 you know, the little Latino food stands where they're doing tacos and burritos and stuff like on the side of the street, the little, okay, so they have that, but it's, it's Pad Thai and all kinds of shit like that, right? And it's, it's, it's freaking delicious stuff, right? So, so. They also have people walking around selling like crickets and scorpions and freaking 
um, uh, scorpions on a stick that you eat, right? Now, I've eaten scorpion twice. I ate scorpion on my first trip to Thailand, but I don't think I made a video of me fucking eating it. So the second time I went to Thailand, I, you know, I held my camera up and I ate the scorpion. They have crocodile and shit too. They have all kinds of shit on the street, okay? Matter of fact, I'm not even sure Thai people eat all this shit that they are on the street, but they know that tourists, being the idiots that we fucking are, want to try some dumb shit so we could brag. When I was in Thailand, I ate a rhinoceros's balls, you know? But anyway, I eat the freaking scorpion. Dude, that shit, like literally 30 seconds after I swallowed, that shit lodged in my chest. And that fucked with me for about a month. <laughs> for about a month, I was in pain. Oh, stuff. Thank you, Aristocrat9618, for becoming a member. That 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 little sun star thing there. That's a that's a that's a membership symbol. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate. Backpack man. Yeah, dude. Cause listen, 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 guys. Okay, especially like if you're on the younger side. Okay, especially if you're on the younger side, you definitely. You definitely, and thank you again for becoming a member. If, you, if you're if on the younger side, you definitely want to get into backpacking because it is some fun shit. Because here's what happens, right? Here's what happens. Let me let me give you a city that I've been to. <sighs> okay, Peru. I go to Peru. Peru is a great example. In Peru, um, you know, I checked into my hostel. I had a hostel in Miraflores, okay? Miraflores is, a, is in Lima, okay? So it's, it's a nice neighborhood in Lima. I don't know if it's still nice, but it's nice at the time, okay? This hostel in, 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 in Peru. And you become like a family with all the people there. Because, you know, most of us from English-speaking places like England, Australia, America, they they did the three big ones, you know. And you have the other countries, Israelis, a lot of Israelis, because backpack as well. Because after they do two, two two or three years in the army, then it's customary for them to go and travel the world. So they Israelis are some of the most traveled people anywhere. They even have their own hostels and shit. Cause they, you know what I mean. I ain't talking about fucking Palestine. I'm just talking about travel, homeboy. Anyway. So you get to the hostel, right? And immediately you make friends with some of the dudes there. And we've all been there for different periods of time, right? So there could be a dude there who's there for like a month. There was a couple dudes who were there for a month, but they were like drug travelers. When I say drug travelers, like, yes, there's a category for this too. These dudes would go to places like Peru and Bolivia, okay, to find, or Colombia, to find like, you know, quality cocaine. I'm not fucking with you. <laughs> they have that there. <laughs> Sam Fribble said, I'm 55. I would have daughter to do that. You could still do it. You could still do it. But I'm but I'm just saying, when you backpack, you know, like when you backpack, the majority of people tend to be like on the younger side. When I say younger, like under 30, maybe like early 30s, early to mid 30s. Because you know, I mean. I, I, I can tell you, I can tell you all the, I can tell you all the backpacking story. Anyway, so like, and you meet these dudes and then they could tell you like where to go, where to stay, what to do. And like, you all go out as a group at night, you know? So like you're safe together, the girls and the guys. And it's like, you are part of a family. It's not like you're two are staying in the same place. Like you're literally part of a family. And then like a hostel, there's community showers, you know? So you got to wait for this one to finish showering for you to shower but I mean, like, dude, it's, it's, you know, it's some fucking wild shit, <laughs> you know? But those dudes, they already know all the parties are, all the right clubs are, where the best tourist shit are, where, where you want to go to see this, you want to do to see that, or how you get from point A to point B. They got all that fucking information. And you're hearing it from someone who speaks English, who's also in the country, you know, and, and so they have a better way of explaining it to you than someone who might be speaking broken Spanish or broken some other language, you know? So it is, it's fucking amazing staying in hostels. Now, there's a downside, okay? You share a room many times with a bunch of fucking people. Um, sometimes there's a community bathroom, so, you know, you gotta form a line and the shower's dirty, so you gotta wear your slippers in the showers and shit, like shit like that, you know? It's not like your private bathroom in a fucking hotel, so be, be prepared for that. But dude, I mean, like, it is, it is freaking awesome man but okay 
going back to the hostel story. I don't know if I told you all this before. So, <laughs> I go partying, right? <clears throat> I go partying. <laughs> Oh, Machu, Machu Picchu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Machu Picchu, yeah. Machu Picchu, Giza friends, yes, please. Machu Picchu was fun. I did Machu Picchu. Okay. <laughs> went to Cusco, then went down to, to Aguas Caliente. That's, a, that's the base camp before you climb Machu Picchu. I didn't do the Inca Trail. But anyway, okay. So, fuck. I was telling you a hostel story. Okay, yeah. So, I'm in Bolivia, right? I'm in Bolivia. This is my first night in Bolivia. Uh, I'm staying at this hostel. What was it called? Loki or something like that. I can't remember. I'm staying at this hostel. And so all of us get ready. The whole hostel, dude. This is a big one. The whole hostel. We all get ready. We go out. Guys, at my hostel in Bolivia. It's, oh, no, it's sorry. In Peru. In Peru. Because I'm, I'm, I was on my way to Machu Picchu. My No. Yes, my hostel in Bolivia. Yes, this is Bolivia. Sorry, 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 sorry. Again, you could use because Bolivia and Peru they touch each other, so that's back and forth in between the countries, right? That's another fucking story. But anyway, my so you know we all get cleaned up. It's my first night there, and we all go out the fucking whole hostel. A ton of people. When I say a ton, ladies and gentlemen, there were twenty two fucking beds in my room in Bolivia. Twenty fucking two. We had numbers on the bed, so you know which bed was yours. <laughs> in the room, they had a red light. It wasn't a, you know, like a white light that you see in here. There was a red light just because all the flights arriving, uh, coming in and leaving Bolivia, they they come in, coming into Bolivia, come in late, okay? So that means that people don't get to the hostel till like two in the morning and shit like that, right? So, <laughs> so you don't be waking up people who are sleeping anyway, dude. So, my first night, I mean, I came in at night, you know, hang out during the day and everything. And so now it's my first night out. I get all dressed up. <laughs> so, Brayton saying lots of snoring. <laughs> I get all dressed up, right? And I fucking go out. And so I'm at this club or this bar, some shit in Bolivia, dude. And I meet this, this, this English girl, right? And, you know, we super flirtatious and everything like that, whatever. And... You know, I I mean, this 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 back, this back before I didn't have like a decent cell phone or nothing. Like you know what I mean? Like this was before people traveled cell phones like the way they travel now. It's just like, did I have a cell phone with me? I don't think I had a cell phone with me. You know, like people had them, but not everyone had them at the time, and they couldn't do all the shit they could do right now. You know, like where you could hold make a fucking movie on your phone. You know what I mean? And I was talking to the girl, and for whatever reason. I didn't freaking get her number or whatever, or email and all that sort of shit. Everybody drinking, we having fun. And I'm like, damn, dude. So my whole time in Bolivia, I regretted the fact that I met this super fucking hot girl that was giving me signs that she was into me and I did not get her fucking number. So... The day I'm leaving, I'm packing my bag and all that sort of shit, you know, because I'm getting ready to go. I'm, you know, like an hour or two before I go to the airport. And I look up, dude, and guess what? Standing in my room is the girl from the club. She had been in my room the whole fucking time. I just didn't know. I had no idea. I mean, we slept in the same room every night and I did not fucking see her. What the hell? That that is a fumble, homeboy. That is a big fumble. <laughs> what a time to be alive! What a time to be alive! You're good, like Sky. <laughs> what kind of fucking story is that, dude? That's how it is. That's how it is with you backpacking, man. That's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is, though. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. It's 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 beautiful. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid L. <laughs> Someone said, I just pitch a tent outside. Ain't no way I'm sleeping with a bunch of farty dudes. No, but it's not like it's not like you're in it's not like you're all in one bed. You're in bunk beds. So you'd have two beds, you know? A bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed, bunk bed on both sides of the room. Okay? So bunk beds lie both sides of the room. It is it's it's dope, you know? And then like all your valuables, 
they have like safes downstairs for the check-in area. Um, these then you could put your own master lock on it, and so you put your passport, your computer, all that it, all your expensive shit in there, and that's it. You know. <laughs> Someone say, "Look alive, sky. Look alive. Well, I look like I'm dying." <laughs> See, okay, here's the thing. Even with these glasses, oh, fuck, I could actually. So I, I got, because you all see me wearing glasses right now, right? So I got LASIK like a while ago. I got LASIK maybe like about 10 years ago, maybe, if that long. Yeah, maybe, not, not, not even, maybe like seven years ago, right? And the problem is the shit doesn't last. Because it, you know, it, it regresses as time passes and then you need to do it again. So now I'm back at the spot where I can't fucking read the words on the screen. <laughs> so I got, <laughs> I got to put my glasses on. And I don't want to go get LASIK a freaking again because, you know, with science going the way it is, I might be able to get brand new fucking eyeballs next year. You know what I mean? Hey, Sky, dude. <laughs> Eureka, we found it. We growing new eyeballs for you in the lab, okay? Now you can have purple eyes, okay? Trust me, chicks love purple eyes, homeboy, because they ain't never seen a man with purple eyes. You can be the only one, you know what I mean? And that may, I can I can look out and see, you know, people walking on the moon. That's that's the kind of eyes that I might have. I'm just saying. So I ain't in no rush to go back and get it, you know? Yeah, someone said my brother got LASIK and said his vision is getting bad again. I mean, when they do it, they tell you it does not last. And you understand what they're doing, right? <laughs> Okay, here's what LASIK is. They take your eyeball and they just, they, they, they shake, they, they just shave a little piece off. You know, they shave a little piece off to try to, shave a little piece off to try to get the angle right so you can see, you know, the right curvature on the lens. Okay, I know I'm not, I know I'm not saying this completely right. Hello, bro. Please reply. Please reply to what, Fatima? You sent me a comment. I didn't see it. You know, they tr to try to get the right curvature on your freaking eyes. You know, and so, I mean, um, it it's it's a uh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a little tricky. But yeah, so it's it's beginning to change now. The doctors told me this was gonna happen. So we have to see. Like, do I want to do it again? I ain't in a rush to do that, dude. But then again, like, I mean, it's gonna get. It's gonna continue to slow down and get bad and shit. So we, we we have to see. That's the thing. It does it doesn't last. Liz Turner had purple eyes apparently. But she had purple eyes from, Sam? Like what, drinking? <laughs> like if I drink, I have purple eyes. Actually, I have beautiful red eyes when I drink, okay? My shit's bloodshot as hell. <laughs> My shit's super bloodshot. <laughs> You know, <laughs> getting that high eye fee. Okay, let me ask you all a question. Let me ask you all a question. This is a question. Marijuana or alcohol, okay? You got to pick one. You have to pick one, okay? You must pick one, okay? You must pick one. Listen, marijuana or alcohol, you must pick one, okay? Oh shit, what happened to my little thing? You must pick one, okay? Marijuana or alcohol? Which one is it, ladies and gentlemen? Tell me, okay? <laughs> what are you picking? Where the hell is my... Weed or booze? There we go. You must pick one, okay? Weed or booze? Which one? I've done both, and I can tell you there's a fucking definite difference between the two. Okay. <laughs> My voice going weed. <laughs> oh, man, you must pick one. My voice going weed. <laughs> okay, he he's he's picking weed right off the bat. Damn, okay, okay. Big Papa, weed all day. 
Marijuana over alcohol. I'm not skipping comments, by the way. I just going down, okay? Deadly sub weed, okay? <laughs> Brayton said, I'm picking alcohol because I want to get turned up with party. Okay, just... <laughs> yeah, but what are you vaping, dancing? Don't try to get smart. What are you vaping? Okay, marijuana. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Cocaine. Okay, Nicholas. <laughs> That's the next question. Okay, we're not there yet, though. <laughs> Rat Panda, alcohol. Okay. Alcohol, alcohol. Weed. I mean, you got, I mean, you got two alcohols back to back here. But for the most part, I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing smoke weed every okay. Oh damn, Sam. Sam is 55 and she's saying she smokes weed every day. Booze. You could get high smoking. Yeah, by sniffing freshly cut grass anyway. Really? I've I've never tried you've actually been on the lawn and sniffed the grass and gotten high. I don't know if I can try that. Okay, I prefer alcohol. It should be illegal. Way more dangerous than weed. Very true, very true. Alcohol is going to be illegal at some point. I do not foresee us drinking. Listen, <clears throat> listen, I, I can tell you all right now, real shit. Alcohol is going to be illegal, probably within the next, within 30 years. Because with all the technical, technolo technological, you know, advancements we're having, at some point, you have to come up with a formula a better formula that doesn't destroy your liver and your fucking organs, doesn't destroy your brain, doesn't cause you to black out, you know? There have to be a way that you, you know, sip something or you push a button on the side of your head for, because your brain computer interface and you get a little tipsy into that nice spot, but it's not it's not gonna be. I, I don't see people I don't see people drinking people away weed all the time. Ananda, uh, you talking to me or you talking to me? Who, who, who's asking Ananda to take a shower? Someone's saying, Ronnie is saying neither. Okay, Sam is posting green heart, so that's, that's weed. Okay, I got another alcohol here. Okay, I can be honest with you. There's alcohol and weed in, in these posts, but it's mostly, <laughs> it's most, it's mostly, uh, it's mostly weed, okay? It's mostly it's mostly weed. Oh, he's 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 vaping flavored weed, okay? It's mostly it's mostly mar it's mostly marijuana. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly uh, most people pick marijuana. See, here's here's the beauty of marijuana though. Cuz with alcohol, especially as you get a little older. When I say a little older, I mean like every year you can feel more. Like there's when you're super young, you go out and drink all night every fucking night and wake up fresh dude with each passing year that shit get harder and harder and fucking harder but wait you could sit down and you could just chill and smoke all fucking night and wake up fresh ready for work now if i do edibles that doesn't necessarily work out for me you know what i mean because edibles like it gives you like this full body high sometimes and do it that is ugh, like i mean depending on edibles depending not all of them do that you know but um if you find the right strain it's some dope shit you know someone say government making money off alcohol they won't make it illegal until the federal government can make money off weed then they will make it illegal six and alcohol mm -hmm. okay here's why i agree with you but i can disagree with you it's not even going to necessarily be the federal government in, in that way. Okay, here's how this is going to happen. At some point, there's going to be a better product on the market that does not destroy your body the way alcohol does. Because everybody, everybody knows alcohol is bad for you. Okay? We act like it's good and, you know, it. it I don't know what it does. <laughs> you know, you know, they say glass of wine is amazing for you. We act like that shit. But we know, do it like alcohol's fucking bad right so i guarantee you we're all going to wake up one day when there's a better product on the market someone whatever some elon musk type tech guy is and come up with a product that is superior to everything on the marketplace let me tell you right now any billionaire watching this and i know no billionaires watch this but please money all might be a billionaire if you are too please do dm me 
But if you're a billionaire watching this, right, and you're a tech guy, if you are able to create a product, I said this before, that just gets you tipsy, doesn't damage your body, don't cause you to beat up your wife, don't cause you know someone to get raped or some crazy shit that's associated with alcohol, just a nice, clean, fun product, no matter how much you drink, you only get this tipsy, dog, you gonna crush every fucking alcohol on the block, because ain't no way I'm sitting there sipping Hennessy or one of the, I mean, sipping some heavy shit, okay, <laughs> trying to get tipsy, when I could just, you know, take a little sip of this or push a button on the side of my head and I'm good, you know what I mean, and that, that is the future. Okay, so it's not that the government necessarily can shut it down. I just think people can one day stop drinking. Okay, okay, I leave to take shower, bro. Okay, enjoy your shower, Ananda. Okay, shower well, shower well, okay? <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is the future, okay? <laughs> the blackout again. Cannabis fights cancer, booze causes it. They know what they're doing. The jury's still out on that because, I mean, smoking, I don't know. I know I know people say that, hey, you don't get, you know, some people say you don't get cancer from smoking marijuana. I don't know. That still seems that you got smoke going in your body. In time, <laughs> we'll see, okay? In time, we will, we will see. But I assure you, alcohol is fucking done. There is no way in the year 2050 anyone drinking alcohol. It's going to be done. I think kids will be... Kids will, you know, find some bottle, you know, find my Trump vodka bottle that I have buried on back and be like, man, we should try this. Ugh, I can't believe they used to drink this. It'll be some shit like that. <laughs> you know, it, it's, 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 it's definitely going to be some shit like that. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Sky, you rock. Hello from Michigan. I always love booze, but now I suffer from facial flushing and stomach issues. Yeah, hey, I mean, switch tomorrow. Want to give that shit a try, you know? See, see how, see how that feels. Wait, hold on. Firstly, you do not need to take marijuana or alcohol. Let me be very clear. These are both drugs, okay? You don't need to take either one. But if you, you know, if alcohol really fucks you up and you gotta try something else, then definitely I would suggest marijuana, okay? And if you could eat it. Instead of smoking it, that's probably even better. Because only God knows what happens with vapes and all the smoke going in. But if you take a nice edible, organic edible, you know, that's, uh, that's, um, weed cures autism. I saw a study today. I didn't get to read an article where, um, they, they feel that there's this gene that causes autism that they might be able to, to fix or change. But I saw, um, I saw like, you know, because some people have different levels of autism. There was this older guy, probably about 60-something, and he had he had autism, uh, you know, super smart guy. Wasn't as, you know, he wasn't as, as he wasn't like some of the other people out there who, um, you know, have a lot more issues with it. And he felt that um, if they did something like that, it would change who he is. So, but I mean, he's a, he's a milder, more manageable case than... Some people who have like a really fucking tough time with the noises and the sounds and the lights and all the shit, you know what I mean? Like some kind of synthetic alcohol substitute. Yeah, but guess what, dude? Like, I mean, you could look at the alcohol as kind of being synthetic anyway with all the shit and that. I mean, they don't, alcohol don't have a bunch of shit. It's just what it does. Like you, dude, hold on. Like, think about this. Okay. <laughs> if me and you, <laughs> in some action movie, okay, Who's the big action star right now? I, I, who's, who's, who's the big action star? But let, okay, let's go to old school action stars so we all know. You know, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're Sylvester Stallone. I'm Rambo, you're a commando or some shit. We in a big shootout, I get shot, you know what I mean? What did the dudes do in the movie? They go grab a bottle of fucking alcohol, be like, hold on, bite down. And then they wash the wound with that. That fucking thing is a goddamn medicine. If it could clean away, <laughs> If it could clean away all the bacteria around your gunshot fucking wound, <laughs> what do you think they're doing inside you? <laughs> okay. It's a reason why, ooh, it burns, okay? It's a reason why it burns, because it's burning your damn soul, okay? <laughs> it's burning It's burning your soul, you know? 
Cynthia said, my grandson has autism. It's not funny. No, I know it's not funny. I'm just saying that, you know, there's, it, there's varying levels of it. And they feel that it can be, it can be reversed or fixed. I don't want to say cured, you know, because cured is the wrong word because there are definitely people who, who do not, who like the way they are and wouldn't want to change. Like this guy who had autism, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, Sam. Action stars. Kevin, yes, Kevin Hart is a great action star. What are you talking about? Fucking Jumanji. Action star is more like I'm walking in with AK-47s, you know, fighting terrorists or some shit. That's, that's more of an action star. Or someone said, okay, we, we're into autism now. Okay. I have high function autism and is definitely a spectrum. People always say, wow, I couldn't even tell with me but there's definitely more drastic cases yeah yeah dude there's some difficult cases there's cases like we're in like the lights the screaming you know what i mean uh, and and then there's also it, things like where autistic people could do like really um really interesting stuff that we can't do like there's a video there's a viral video of a little boy who has autism he has on his headphones and he's in the kitchen and he just stands there and he spins around super fast Super long. Have y'all seen the video? And I'm looking at that going, holy shit, that is wild, you know? That is some wild, crazy stuff that this dude's able to, you know, do that without getting dizzy, you know? That is, that's crazy, man, you know? Super crazy. Tipsy's the doctor now. Right? Yeah, let me get off the medicine because I don't know what the hell I talk about, okay? Sky John could beat up Kevin Hart. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my grandson is four. Only just started talking. It's hard. It's so hard to see and hear his frustration. Yeah. But give it time. Give it, give it time, though, Sam. Because as he gets older, things change. So you, so you might be surprised. You know what I mean? You might be surprised. And like I said, like, Science is getting better every freaking day and being able to understand some of these complicated issues more, you know. So sit tight, work with him, and let's see. You might be surprised at what he could do, you know. You might be surprised at what's going on with him. You know, it, it's it's a it's a it's a really interesting world out there. Hi from Korea. What's up, Korea? Korea in the house. Korea. Hey, where's where's that where's that tipsy bartender meme that was big in Korea? I wish I could show you all that, dude. There was this meme, and I was walking down the street. This dude from Korea was like, "Hey, dude, are you the guy in this meme?" <laughs> you know, some people. I I don't have it. It's somewhere, or maybe I do have. Maybe I do have some gifts in here. In my phone. Do I have gifts in my phone? Let me just let me just check real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Because I might have it. Because it's easier for me to show it to y'all on camera than it is for me to try to upload a gift to this shit. Workout Chicago, Snapchat, IG. Yeah. I don't see it, mate. But whatever. Whatever. Your flavored alcohol ice cubes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, listen, listen. You could flavor anything. You could flavor anything. I'm going to Mexico. Please do enjoy your trip and be safe, homeboy. Have fun in Mexico, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sky, you're a big celebrity in Nigeria. Well, hey, look, you tell the people, tell the people in Nigeria, I send my love, man. I had a tipsy girl from Nigeria. She was in my chat yesterday, you know. But tell her, send my love. <laughs> tell her, I send my love. Love hearing travel stories. Oh, dude, as I do this more, I got a ton of travel stories, but I got to figure out. The thing is, I got to always figure out like how to tell a story so I don't call names and so, <laughs> so I don't give away too much information to get people in trouble, okay? 
because <laughs> I've been places with people doing some crazy shit that they don't they necessarily want to know about. <laughs> I consider it a good life if I make it to 95 and still mobile and cognitive. Yeah, that's probably a good life, but do it like why okay here's the thing why just make it to 95 why not aim not to die at all because listen mark zuckerberg jeff bezos all these billionaires none of them will fucking die and i realize that freaks some people out when you bring in your religion and stuff and be like well you know you know the bible or the quran or whatever tells us this and that that okay but my thing is do it like if there's something out there where you don't die and you could stay like 25 for life? Man, give me that shit, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, that's, that sounds sweet to me. That's a deal, okay? That's, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, fr that's a freaking sweet deal. I'd take that in a nanosecond. Holy shit. <laughs> that is, that is the way, that, that is, that would be fucking amazing. You know, that would be super sweet, super amazing. You know, awesome times, man. Awesome times. Let me just look in here. All right, all right, all right. That would be just super fucking awesome. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this stream. I thank you all for coming out, okay, and playing ball with me today, okay? And look, just remember, we got a membership program going on and we'd love all of you to be members and support the show. It's on YouTube. If you're watching me from Facebook, I mean, Facebook has a membership program, but they don't allow me to give you all the options that YouTube allows me to give you. On YouTube, I could give you live videos, private live videos. I could give you early content. I can give you um, just a lot more personal stuff, you know, that, that Facebook doesn't doesn't have so definitely sign up let's get close you got and then you have all the old content tipsy girls old videos vlogs all that shit we bring it into membership you have access to my course which is the best bartending course online like you know whether you're going to work in a bar or a bartend at home you know all this shit so you can be able to blow your friends minds by just repeating some of the shit i say without you know i'm just saying and when you do become a member you get one of these stars right here. Let's like the yellow thing but beside Jordan Hammond's name. Tipsy, what's your favorite cocktail for first date? I don't know. You gotta let the you gotta let the girl lead with that. See what direction she goes in, and then you order yours, okay? To match hers. All right. Or don't give a shit and just drink what you want to drink. You know? Let her see you drinking a Long Island iced tea. But she might think you're ratchet. So <laughs> you might not want to do that. You might go with a little more sophistication. Negroni, Boulevardier, Old Fashioned, Manhattan, stuff like that. Or you could go Adios, motherfucker, Long Island, you know, Long Beach, you know what I mean? Hey, and there's a lot of stuff in between. They're all up to you, okay? <laughs> oh, Sam, you on Facebook. Oh, shit. Okay. You follow me on Facebook. I didn't know. No, you on YouTube. You follow me on YouTube. I know you on Facebook, but you follow me from YouTube because YouTube is where I have all the all the perks. You know what I mean? Facebook didn't allow me to give everyone all them perks. It was like, ah, you only have this and this. I need to, I need to give you value for you. You know, contribute and becoming a member. Anyway, look here. <laughs> you all drink? What's this? It's me, Daddy. <laughs> son, how are you, my long lost son? All right, look here. Anyway, I can see you all tomorrow. You all drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Son, take care. And there you have it. <laughs> Holy shit. We can have some fun as I learn how to do this better. 